What's up, guys? What's up? Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome. All right, let me tell you guys about that window sound that happens every single stream. When I take a screenshot for Twitter, I open the Snip app or whatever you call it, and then I take a picture, and then I post the picture on Twitter, and then I go to exit the Snip app, and then it says, oh, are you sure you want to close without saving file? Yes, I do want to close without saving file. And that's what that sound always is every day. So yeah, that's why that happens. Y'all yeah, say hi. Hi, guys. Why would I complain before saying hi? Just to get out of the way before I forget. Because we all know how good I am at forgetting stories. Hi, everyone. Um, hi, West. Hi, American. Hi, Red Hood. Hi, Conic. Hi, Master Links. Hi, Budek. <laughs> Obliterator, hi Druid, hi Hi Coder, hi Video Gamer, hi Spectros, hi Burst, hi Paquito, hi Graphic, hi Brutus, um, hi More Cake, uh, hi Jackie, hi Seb, hi Big Stizop, hi Moha, hi Drew, hi Master Links, hi Sif, hi Mecha, hi Smiler, hi uh, uh, Gay, hi Sentinel, hi Marco, can I right click? the OBS wait what you can do that what the hell you can do that yeah I didn't know that yeah absolutely I can do that <laughs> oh my god that's way easier yeah I'm gonna start doing that <laughs> um hi natural neo to when never ever and every single day when people ask more my desire to do neo goes down just so everyone knows hi crazy food hi pofi hi okp hi alex hi been chillin hi royal um, 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 hi, Moisty. Parky read my chapter and say hi. What do you mean? I said hi. Yeah. Hi, Rehanio. Hi, Paldris. Been a while since you caught a stream. Welcome in, young. Hi, Ziego. Hi, Kona. Hi, Tarnished. Hi, Jacrispy. All right, West. Nice. Nice one, West. So, is the stream looking good? Because OBS is looking horrible right now. Does the stream look fine? Hi, Necro. Guys, today I was playing Cars and Castles and I, <laughs> and I paired up against uh, Graphic Truth. It was funny. Have I played all the Souls games? Yes. The stream is good, okay. Have I played the Convergence mod? No. New viewer here, just watched your DS1 No Death. Thank you for watching that. I hope you liked it. I did win. Yes, I did win. But, um, Graphic was working on a new deck and made some accidental misplays, so it wasn't completely valid. Yeah, let's talk about Moist Critical's Crab Challenge. I actually was going to do that today, and a honestly, if I didn't, if I already had the proper patch, I probably would have done it today. But I just came home, like, five minutes ago from my cousin's birthday honestly i don't even feel good like my head kind of hurts i don't even know how long i'll stream today um i'm a little nauseous i don't know the tech is shit why what part of it the devs tweeted yeah am i gonna be a part of ludwig's fast 50 event i will be yes um cyra lob thank you for the prime sub making a show of my fan no don't call them my fans Hi, Chrono. My shoes are dope, thank you. I watch Aggie a lot, but it's the first time watching you live. Well, welcome in. Um, hi, Tarnished. Yeah, so Uppies is all- No, they changed it. Let me explain, if you guys don't know. So Moist Critical does the speedrun event every once in a while with, where he puts a $10,000 bounty on a game for the world record holder, okay? Um, the current one is crab game as we know i used to speed run crab game like a few weeks ago so i used to speed run the category restricted any percent which is basically like you know using cheats cheaty stuff using glitches whatever 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 um but not using the really really bad things like you're still playing through the game you're still gonna go through most areas you're still gonna at least witness all necessary bosses um so that's that's restricted any percent there's also another category called unrestricted any percent where you do all the stuff you can fly over the entire game you don't have to interact with anything basically um not actually but you know yeah you interact with a lot less so um 
that's called unrestricted any percent. Now, like, basically nobody runs unrestricted any percent. And so, from what I understand, Moist Critical put a bounty on this uh, game and said, okay, we're gonna do the unrestricted any percent category. There's not that many people in it. I think he wanted to make it fair, like, kind of start with a blank slate, blah, 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 whatever. Um, understandable. But honestly, the category, in my humble opinion, is is less good, is inferior to the restricted any percent because restricted any percent is kind of the same reason why I like Sekiro Glitchless. It's basically like you still interact with a lot of things, you still have to fight a lot of bosses, um, but there, you still have some really cool tech, you still have some out of bounds stuff, whatever. It's like a really great mix of both. Um, so, I was not interested in Moist Critical's bounty, okay? I wasn't. I don't care about the, uh, I don't care about the unrestricted tech. I just don't care. I'm not interested. I don't like flying over games. Um, and so, people have been learning it, and it was also a current patch, okay? So, today, this morning, I woke up, and aggro crab devs tweeted at Moist Critical saying, hey, we're gonna add 10, not 10, we're gonna add uh, $5,000 to the pot if you guys switch, if Moist Critical switches the category to uh, restricted any percent. And they said, we just don't like the tech and unrestricted, it kind of flies over the entire game, whatever, like switch the category and we'll add money to the pot. Now, personally, wow, my bangs are so uneven. Personally, I was like, okay, as much as I like this idea, Moist is never gonna say yes because the challenge has already been going on for uh, a few days now. So I feel like it's kind of not fair to do that as much as I would like the category to be changed. Um, it, he's not gonna do it because it's already been going. However, sorry, I'm distracted by the chat. Yeah, it, it, I don't know what, what that person's saying. They said if I put poison in their teeth he would like cheers with it i don't understand if that's a hate message or not <laughs> but anyway yeah so that hate that sucks for the people who um have been doing that category yeah sure whatever so anyway turns out that you know what they actually did change it i don't really know what the discussions were i don't know what moist critical thinks about it i don't think he publicly said anything i think the mods just said stuff but they changed the category they changed it to to restrict at any percent. They changed it to my old category that I used to do. Um, and I don't really understand. It's not on the current, current patch, but it's on like a almost current patch or something. I don't really understand. It's like, it's like Voltai still sucks and some of the skips are still patched, but like Praia Dubia doesn't have double health. I don't really understand. I don't know. Um, so I was going to, I was, so, I don't know. I was debating getting back into it, actually, because I, I genuinely think that I'm a little bit ahead of the crowd, obviously, because I've been practicing already. So I was like, maybe there's a good chance. And the prize pot, because they added more money to it, now up to the top 15 people get money, which is awesome. It's not like, an it's like $250, not life-changing money, but it's top 15, which is kind of big, actually. So I was like, you know what? I think there's a chance for me to get top 15. I really think there is. I don't think there's a chance for me to get world record or anything, but I think that I could try and get 15. Um, however, first of all, my game is still not down patched and I just came home like five minutes ago and I have to down patch it and I didn't want to do that. And second of all, now this is the main issue why I'm discouraged to get into it, okay? All right, everyone look at your calendars. So I'm going to LA on Thursday, May 30th for Ludwig's event. And Moist Critical's event ends on the final day of Ludwig's event, which is May 3rd, I believe, May 2nd or May 3rd, I don't know, um, because they wanted to show off the, the world record run at the event on the final day. So that being said, I have until Thursday, May 30th to grind it, which is like four or five days. I mean June, I meant June, I meant June, I meant June. You have a week. The, the challenge ends in a week, okay? The bounty ends in a week. Um, so, I'm 
let's say, so I'm leaving on, my last stream will be Wednesday night, okay? I'm traveling Thursday in the daytime. So, let's say I grinded this and I got a top 15 on Wednesday, right? Which could very well happen. It could happen. I already know the route. I'm already decent at the speed run. It could happen. However, there is still four days of me not being able to practice. And as we know how speed runs work, especially with new and developing tech, people catch up all the time. So there's a decent chance I can get top 15 by Thursday. I mean, I'm not saying I'm the best speedrunner. There's also a chance that I wouldn't get top 15. I don't know. I honestly don't know how many people are competing. I wish I knew if anyone has any opinions on how many people are competing. I'd love to know, but um, I don't know. So anyway, if I get, let's say I get top 15 by Thursday, there's four days for someone to beat me, which is a lot of days. That's a lot. <laughs> So I'm discouraged to do it because of that reason. That's my story. So Aggie was thinking the same thing for him. Like he is very possibly gonna get world record, but also world records exchange by the hour. So he's like, well, he can grind out for the world record by Thursday, but then the world record can get stolen like five times until, you know, Monday, whenever the event ends, Sunday or Monday, whatever day it is. So. Alright, that, that all being said, I don't know if I'm gonna go back into it. I was kind of thinking if there is a way for me to get top 15, regardless of money, I think it would be really cool for, to compete and like represent the girls. And I know this is other girls, uh, crab speedrunners, I know. Um, but I, I, I would like, I think that would be really cool. I just don't think it's possible. And that's the end of my story. Any other questions? You gotta be on it 24 seven. Yeah, I agree. I think it's pretty impossible. Hi, David, what's up? Um, have I played Lords of the Fallen? Uh, I very briefly, I played it, yeah. It's 1 a.m. I know, it was my cousin's birthday today. I couldn't start earlier. Can I pet the Aggie plushie? I'm trying to improve your run while watching the event. Going to the event makes harder. Going to what event? Happy birthday, Parky's cousin, oh yeah. I'm actively working on an event after this bullshit is over for the girls. So don't worry about it. Also, you're exhausted. I've heard all the shit you're going through, Quack. I hope you're go I hope you're doing well. <laughs> um, are you gonna be competing in it? Are you allowed to as a mod? It's probably a lot. Though I will say you guys are super on top of everything, and I think it's I think you guys are doing a great job. If that if that means anything, I think you should be proud of how much effort and like what's coming out of it. Um, also, Quack, do you know approximately how many people are going to be competing in this? Like, is it like within the thousands or is it like within the hundreds or, you know, surely not ten thousands, right? You think the challenges are terrible for spring? Really? Why? Have I heard about Wukong? I have heard it. Yes, I've heard of it. Unhappy birthday. What? That's so rude. It's his 30th birthday. That's actually rude. I remind you of Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, I get that a lot, yeah. I played a Notrius demo, I do like it. I have some shorts on it if you wanna hear my opinions on it. I do like it, I'm excited for it. I am sponsored by it though, but I also honestly like it. Um, this is for another Crab's Treasure, Brian. How far did I get? I, I can't beat Romeo. I'm hoping to be Romeo tonight. The community gets taken over by chuds and then dies and never recovers. Mm, I don't think honestly I don't see that happening with this game seriously because it's such a short amount of time that it's why don't touch that it's such a short amount of time um that that will be on this and like I don't I don't think it's gonna hurt it that much fidget yeah honestly <laughs> sorry did I finish the run no I couldn't be Romeo I'm stuck on Romeo Unsponsored opinion, I like the demo performance needs to be improved. Yeah, which is literally what I said. I said, I love all these things about it, but I also hate all these things about it. And then people are like, she, she's just sponsored. I can't, I can't trust you, you're sponsored. Okay. I'm hopeful, yeah. I, I honestly see it being fine. Like the thing is with like a muck runner was like, a muck runner was never even a thing before Moist Critical. I mean, maybe, it, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe it was. I don't think it was a big game though before. Um, so I think that probably went crazy and then died. I don't know about his other games though. Yeah, it wasn't, right? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I went, <laughs> dude. Okay, before we get into the game, let me just say, 
Yeah, I'm not doing consumables, yeah. Um, Moist critical stuff has been dead, so we don't really know what to expect now. Yeah, true. Am I gonna stream more crap? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I am. I need reasons for and against, because I honestly don't know. The creator exploded before moist. What does that mean? Ghost Runner 2 hasn't had a run in a year. What was Ghost Runner 2 popular to speedrun? I don't see it dying. I really don't. The people are the crab speedrunners are so passionate. I have not seen crab speed like I haven't I haven't participated in that many speedruns, but I haven't seen people passionate the same way they're passionate about crab, honestly. Hi, official pillow. Had growth before moist Benny. Yeah, Jericho. Basically, long story short, Moist changed the category to my old category in a different patch. You're more likely to regret not doing something than doing it. I mean, I don't- it's not like... I was- so I, I was gonna play it tonight, but then I didn't want a down patch, and then I was thinking maybe- I know everyone else will be playing it tonight, so maybe I should just like play my own game right now. And I'll see like if people are having fun with it, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But again, I also, like, here's the thing. The other side, let's say I have four days to learn this. Let's say I get, you know, like, let's say I have four days and I actually have the ability to make top 15. Well, Aggie and I also have to at least spend one day practicing Sekiro for Ludwig's event. It's just like, yeah, I'd like to do this, but also it's just not super, super practical. Though, again, I do think it'd be really good if I was one of the better runners, which, or maybe not better, but one of the at least runners at least one of the runners and i'm a girl i think i think putting girls names out there is really fantastic for speed running so that's kind of one of the reasons why i'd like to do it so so yeah again no i'm not world record none of that stuff just like maybe not even top 15 but like at least like almost top 15 that sort of thing but the, yeah, I don't like if it's like thousands of people running, I don't care. But if it's like hundreds or, or so, a hundred or so, then I would totally try. I would, yeah. So I don't know. To be honest, I'm in the Discord. I wonder if the Discord looks crazy with people. You don't even know if 15 people. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Like, are there even people doing it? And and if not, then why not? I don't understand why more people aren't doing these things. Like, does it say? No, there's no roles for it in the Discord, right? I was kind of bummed when you stopped doing attempt, so my role is crab game any day. How many more days? Uh, I think I probably can get the PC built tonight. We need more diversity in runners. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of diversity already, but yeah, it's obviously very dominated. Thank God he changed the category. It was Blay when he announced it. Yeah. I, it's a very controversial opinion. In my opinion, for me personally, I think... I think it's a little weird that it was switched just because I really thought the easy answer would just be don't switch it because it's already started. That's like the easy answer, I think. Um, but... I'm glad. I, I, I don't like the other category, so... <laughs> I'm like happy that it ended up this way. I mean, you know, it's a tough choice. That's all. Um, the Krill plush is amazing. Hell yeah. Hi, scary son. What does it mean that it's still? Where's gameplay? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Hi, Ty. Hi, Kieran. Um, hi, timer. I don't know if I'll start. I don't know. I don't know. Even if I wanted to, I probably would do it tonight if it was already a uh, patch to the right patch. But I don't even know. It's not even the current patch. Because I am on the current patch. It's like some other random ass patch. Crab. Update required. Wait, what patch is the game on? You have the depot? Yeah, but then I have to sit here and wait and then a bunch, do a bunch of random shit on stream. Does this girl even play games? Yeah. No, I don't. Wait, maybe I'm- No, I'm not on the right patch because the, the patch is a- is a rant- It's like a non-public patch or something, right? It's 10102. 
I don't know which one I'm on, to be honest. Hi from Portugal, hello. Well, surely we should just play Liza P tonight, right? I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's, like, I can't decide if it's worth me even trying to get into this run or not. Gustavo, thank you for the submarine on YouTube chat. By the way, I'm not super active in YouTube chat, but I appreciate the submarine anyway. Lud dropped the ball. I don't think so. I think the event's going to be fantastic. The patch is banned. Which patch is banned? Where am I in Thousand Year Door? Uh, I just finished chapter two, Seb. Crab game. This guy, stop! I don't. I'm stressed out. Wait, what is the band? Are we on current patch now? You miss Liza P. I do too. I still haven't gotten Liza P. Keen to see what SL1 is like. It's tough, yeah. It's toughy. All right, well, I'm just gonna not think about crowd game tonight and I'll do crowd game tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna see what it's like. I, don't, I really don't wanna fight Voltai if I'm being honest. Have I played Pokemon games, Sparky? Yeah, I've played a bunch of Pokemon games. Place Armored Core. Hello from France, I gotta say, I've already played Liza P once, then I played New Game Plus. It's so hard when you keep your health on 30. Is that what the default is? It's hard, wait, it's hard when you keep your health on 30? Or on eight? <laughs> she will place it in the trash can. I don't know, I, I'm not super uh, confident. Ludwig's event is Thursday in a few days. So like I have like four days to run the crab game. So I don't know, be nice. I'm asking, I'm genuinely asking. Anyway. Anyway, I can't beat Romeo. That's the that's the current that's the problem at hand. I can't beat Romeo. And I've already tried to switch up my strat of uh of parrying or of dodging and I don't know um I don't think I just needed sleep because I didn't even get Romeo like almost halfway I got him well actually I got him almost halfway but never more than that do we have we're upgrading weapon yeah I don't want to go to work there's been nothing to do for months well isn't that like good sometimes um I think yesterday I was kind of doing a mixture of both, which I think is the strat. I think I need to like dodge, but parry sometimes so that you get some staggers. I don't know, let's go try. Thanks for the bits, Format. Loose to a Romeo. Uh, the, <laughs> the fit is from Wolong, which by the way, I don't even, is this even a fit you see in Wolong? I don't know. Anyway, how is it, how are you guys doing? Is anyone gonna play crab game? Speedrunning? Trying to win some money? Just parry everything and you'll be fine. Yeah, until you get hit. I don't know how to dodge phase two. Maybe it's as easier than I think. You think it's inspired? Okay, well. I want to see if I can farm some uh, upgrade materials for this weapon. Yeah, I think what I've decided is I've, I never got Romeo Phase 2 to... Uh, I've never seen Romeo Phase 2 to his like halfway point to do the fire move. However, I think I'm going to do the Fable Arts Interrupted. Depending on how long it takes me to be Romeo, I wonder if I can like do Romeo half the stream and then finish with Crab Game or something just to get a taste of it to see if it's worth doing full streams for. Hi Dolly, you finished Liza Peep for the first time this morning. Oh, I don't know what I could have done there, I was just too close to him. I was holding sprint but it doesn't look like he was sprinting. Um, 
You get excited when people talk about Wolong? Why? Because people don't really talk about Wolong that much. Yeah, true. I'm trying to level zero crab game speedrunning to us. The speedrun is really uh, beginner friendly, I think, if that makes me feel any better. But yeah, that's fair. Hi, Sibla. Is Wolong good? I haven't played Wolong. Hi, Bochon. Have I tried to no hit? No, I have not tried to no hit. Hi, why, why denial? So guys, I'm my cousins today. My cousin's like a huge gamer nerd. And every time I see him, we talk about how he's like super big on Slay the Spire. And I'm always like talking about cards and castles. And then today he was like, so are you still playing that mobile game? And I was like, dude, I literally play that game all the time. And he was like, what? It wasn't just a phase? And I'm like, literally, yeah, I'm like obsessed with this game. This game is like the reason why I wake up in the morning. And then uh, he was like, oh my God, fine. Let me just try this game. So he downloaded it and it seems like he actually really likes it. And then he looked to his friends who were also there and he was like, dude, you would love this game. <laughs> and and Aggie is like, dude, the devs, like this is like the best sponsor they've ever <laughs> gotten value of. So funny. It's kind of true. King of Puff, it's a toughie. More heals would be really nice, but I'm not upgrading Fjorgan either. Have I ever gotten sponsors for games I didn't like? Like, have I been offered sponsors or have I accepted sponsors for games I didn't like? Hi, that one, Suki. Thanks for the Prime sub. Well, regardless, I mean, I don't know. A lot of people just suggest like friends or whatever. <laughs> I don't know if I have anyone I suggest. How long have we been at, been at Romeo? Um, a few hours. I don't know exactly how many hours, but a few. Oh, it's a toughie, it's a toughie. I just, I don't even have like a concrete strat against him and I was thinking about weapons and I don't think there's a better weapon and maybe I can try a heavier weapon that does more damage, I don't know. How long did Bishop take? Four tries. Romeo just like does so much damage to me that like, I don't even have a chance to look at phase two. So every time I reach phase two, I don't last very long. I don't want to use the Wolong weapon. And the Wolong weapon is only really good for the art, which I'm not, I mean, I could use it, but I'm not very proficient in it yet. Like, he does so much damage to you on one hit. Yeah, I could show my talismans, but like, I'm kind of switching them out just to see what's the best. Oh. Hi, Sneaky Panda. So, did everyone have a nice Sunday today? Makes me want to replay Lies of P. You nobody got time for finishing Stellar Blade. And prepping for Shadow of the Earth Tree, yeah, true. But why does it be deserves the time? If you're interested, you should do that. That's fucking greedy, I'm gonna die. Scarlet. You got a good day, that's nice. How far did you get in Thousand Year Dorset? Like, why did you ask?
You finished chapter one? What did you think? Do you happen to know what he'll be playing, Sneaky Panda? Um, I know what he's playing, yeah. I think it's public. I'm, well, I don't know if it's public, but I think yeah, he's talking about it. We're, me and Aggie are doing Sekiro 2P1C. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't- I'm just not gonna talk about it. He said I could talk about something, but also not about something else, so I don't know. Whatevs. Shit. Can't wait to watch you both found Eggy a while back, watching him in GDQ. Love your content. Thank you. Oh my god! <sighs> I, I don't even think it's a secret, but sometimes I say- I don't know. I get worried, okay? I'd rather say not enough than too much and then get sued or something. <laughs> the shock maze. I think I have the stats. I'm kind of debating trying the uh, salamander dagger. Do we know where that is? Just to get some extra damage proc on. Yeah, I might try dodging the second. I just like don't know that. But on the land- What, West? But I'm a woman and I'm in the event, so how is that possible? I haven't responded to your lawyer's letters for doing what? What happened to the parry goddess that I knew? Um, yeah, I might try to do the parry build instead now. Like, just to see if it's better after, like, a sleep. But the amulets I have on right now are better for dodging. It's just like if I'm gonna parry, like there's zero room for error. And I'm like good at parrying, but I'm not like flawless at parrying. Locked room at the start of the fight. How do I unlock it? Dude, dodging without stamina is huge. Why did that hit me? Anyway, Seb, you said you loved that was new bar. I thought it was awesome. Let's just see, uh, I guess I won't spoil just in case. Are you playing dumb? <laughs> yeah. What? What could I possibly have done wrong? I wonder if I could be playing safer than I currently am. Maybe, maybe there is a way. I think I know what you're talking about, and yes, oh yeah. <laughs> Just unfortunate. We support woman wrongs. Okay. Especially I'm gonna overlap with Shadow of the Earth Tree. Yes, and I well not overlap, it's a it's a week after. Ludwig said don't defend him in any way, but having him have that video addressing the event was bonkers. Well, can't I get grindstones? I'm not gonna use them. Beardless Mage, thank you for the prime sub, dude. Let's put on the, uh, this one, the parry one, and see how this goes. Um, I think that, and honestly, even, I think he addressed it. Didn't he say that he thinks that some things weren't maybe the best, handled the best as possible, or whatever? I agree with that, but I won't go into detail. I don't really think it's that serious. No puppet amulet. I do stand by though. It's just not serious enough to like actually go to war and just like have all it consume all your thoughts all day every day. 
This is not a mod, no, it's a close in the game. I have no thoughts, head empty, yeah, right? It's so true. Maybe I'll put Liza P into SL1 marathons? No, I don't think so. I think a lot of people who do SL1 marathons don't care about non from self games. Not everyone, but that's from what I've noticed. Okay, I swear I pressed dodge, it just didn't. Press hard enough. Yeah, look, I'm dodging with no stamina. That's actually, like, kind of OP. You just can't attack. Why does that sometimes hit me and sometimes it doesn't? I've only ever done a level one of, the, of Bloodborne, no other game. Uh, no, I didn't do level one. I did level four of Bloodborne, yes. Um, damn. This is so hard. It's ruthless. I like Liza P even if I do think like other Souls games, it has its issues. Yeah, I think the key word there is like other Souls games. I think all Souls games have issues. For sure. I defer one. Would I do level one of any other Souls more? Yeah, I will, but I'm gonna wait till I like have an itch to play other Souls games. I'm not gonna force it. I think, I think SL1 run is too hard to force it, you know? This is current patch, yeah. The legendary BL4 run, oh yeah. Maybe I'll parry moves that I know I can for sure parry. For the extra damage. Okay, for example, like how I didn't properly parry that one. Alien and ankle check. Uh, I didn't go running today, so I don't know. It doesn't hurt when I'm just doing nothing, though, which is good. If I could be a cheetah girl, which one? I used to like the blonde one. But now, I don't know. I actually don't know who's yours. I like uh, I like Raven Simone because I've heard her talking about Cheetah Girls and I feel bad for her. Oh my god, dude, it's so ruthless. I can't fucking dodge out of that when he does that. Ugh. 97 deaths is crazy. You think 97 crazy in a bad way? You, are you crazy? Get Aggie for what? Things I would do for sequel to Bloodborne or Sekiro, oh boy. Um, yeah, but I, knowing that the that the devs don't want that, I don't really care for it either. Get Aggie to beat- you know Aggie is worse at this game than I am? Aggie's better than me at a lot of things. Romeo is not one of them. I don't think they were making it a, a copy of Hillary Duff. I think that they were just trying to make like an extremely diverse four girls. And she was like the token white blonde girl. <laughs> Oh, 
go get your boyfriend to be boss, please. I will. I will ask him after. The surprise Sekiro to get a Dizzy. I'm not even, like... I don't think it's that serious. I mean... Don't mess with perfection, you know? Whatever the one in India was. <laughs> Yeah, the Bollywood Cheetah Girls movie was weird. <laughs> I liked it though. Yeah, you didn't know there was a Bollywood Cheetah Girls movie? It slapped, actually. The music in it was so good. And the dancing. See, like, the, why does that sometimes hit me and sometimes it doesn't? Me, who doesn't know what Cheetah Girls is? Yeah, Cheetah Girls is a... It's a band of- I don't know if they were a real life band. I don't know if they ever like performed otherwise. Like Hannah Montana, for example. It's like a- it's like a four person band, four girls, and they were like Disney Channel, like... Okay, I'm gonna try and dodge to the left on Romeo Phase 2, but like, I don't- I mean, I'll try. I'll try. Why is that actually way easier? Why is that way- it's way less cool though, but... They never performed outside of promoting the movie. I don't blame them. I don't think we need Cheetah Girls in real life. It's less aggro. It's way less aggro, yeah. Will I be using throwables? No. They're too good. No, that's- that's iced coffee. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Put that one on instead. This is like really good when it gets used. No boba, yeah. Wow, fair play for you to do this challenge. I'm on my first place where I have to cheese green swamp monster. How did you cheese him? They made one tour, according to Google, for the third film. 40 concerts in Canada, US. That's a lot of concerts. Yeah, yeah, okay, dude, I remember, I mean, a lot of shows did this, a lot of cartoons did this too, but like crossover shows actually slapped. I would like clear my day as a kid to watch the crossover episodes. I thought they were the best. Very lucky. Scary son. Yeah, I thought uh, the Victorious iCarly one was so good. And then there, there was also the Jimmy Neutron and uh, Fairly Odd Parents. That was awesome. Why does that hit me sometimes? It must be two different moves that just look the same. Imagine a human girl mixed with a cheetah. Is that what you just said? I will be honest, this game is less fun to dodge. The pairing is so satisfying, but the pairing is also way more punishing if you have no health and no heals. If I had more heals, I think this would be a lot easier. 
Not saying it would be like super, super easy, but it would definitely be a lot easier. Like, why? What kind of range is that? We're doing a woman run, aka no P organ. <laughs> Wow, that is pretty strong, actually. That's a penis joke. That is so funny. That's probably the best joke I've heard this entire playthrough. That's insane. Ooh! Why did he do that? Okay, does dodging get that move more or something? I need to save a blue for the fire move. What oh, goes fast? Oh, how did I pull that off? I have no idea. Oh my god. Okay, so what happens if he does the fire move? Do I need a full blue bar? Okay, well I just pressed Y, nothing happened. Three bars, okay, well I shouldn't have used it. I shouldn't have used it on phase one. Chris, or uh, X, Chris, X, thanks for the uh, prime sub. Hi, Chris, the run is good, how are you? <laughs> um, still parry three, yeah. No, I'm not using the shield, I don't think. That was good. I'm actually kind of surprised at how much easier um, dodging is. Wow. It's way easier, actually. Way less cool, though. If anyone's thinking of playing the game, you should learn how to parry. The parrying is way cooler. Okay. Progress! Don't lose your way. What, you want to see me parry this? Hundred death, let's go! Can I ask a question about anyone who's beaten chapter two of Thousand Year Door? Without that much detail, can I just ask something about the coloring? Or do we not want those spoilers? I'll just ask in the Discord, in the channel. Never play, never will. Can't wait for you to be in LA so I can catch up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll bring it with us. Probably not. Hopefully we'll be partying and having fun and not just sitting in our room playing video games. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Shady. Goes to LA to play Thousand New Door. <laughs> That was just green. Eliza P, YouTube videos are amazing. Thank you. You know what I was thinking? Would it be interesting to do a Hades video about just like the journey to beating 10 attempts? Does anyone think that's interesting? EM4 Hades is so fun. I don't think I'll ever do that. 14 VODs. Yeah. Right, well that's why it'd only be a thing that'd be like worth doing. Yeah, I know, gay. I know you are. It's fine. 
it's okay to have fun. You know. Having fun is nice sometimes. You lost an earbud in your bed? No, dude. I don't use AirPods anymore because they don't fit with all my piercings. But when I still used them, they would always fall out. I got this like string that connects them, but like to each other. Especially if you wear them on planes and they fall out. God. Yeah, my ear, my AirPods, they would probably stay in if I was just lifting. But if I'm if I'm running, they never stayed. Made them wired. You know what? I know, I know the meme about that, but it, it's not connected to your phone. The wire to the phone is the worst part for me. Um, but connecting them to each other, like behind your neck, isn't that big of a deal? But no, I don't. I, I can't wear them anyway anymore. Wasted all that time scratching my butt. Okay, why? It's actually way easier to dodge. This is so cringe. Why didn't he why didn't why didn't he stop? I thought I thought all fable art stop it. Chat. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Yesterday someone told me that all fable arts can break it, and I was like, no, that's not true. And they said, no, it is true for fable arts. Where? What happened? Let me know, chat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So you guys are liars. Oh, because you butt scratch. Oh. Shame on you, chat. I'm not the parry god. Uh, I never claimed to be the parry god. What are you talking about? I got so annoyed at them falling out. You got some jalab ahead. Air sport. No, for me, yeah, I just, I'm, it's annoying. Though the worst part about the wire is from the phone to the ear, to the ears, so. I don't know. Hit him with the final hit, the one that glows red. Wait, the combo of my, com did I not hit him with the final combo? Was I too early? I played my first Souls like about three years ago on stream. <laughs> so the final hit of the Y, is it the LY or the, is it like the LBY or is it just the Y combo? I don't know what the LBY is, I never do that. Just the Y, okay. You did look like a parry god. Well, I'm pretty good at parrying when I have some room for air. I was too late. So you kind of have to estimate when he's gonna do it. Press it three times. I, I just held it. Was that wrong? You're supposed to... I thought holding it was fine.
Okay, maybe I was early. It's honestly pretty easy to guess when he'll do it, so... I wonder if I should just not... I, I think I know what causes it. I'm gonna try. I think you're supposed to not stagger him when he's grog. And then he'll do it. sad for Scar. She's been so like needy for attention and then we're going on vacation. Oh my god, I pressed dodge, but whatever, dude. Some fable are required to press multiple. I don't think it was. I don't think I needed to for this one, personally. Getting a lot better at phase one. Um, I don't think so, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, maybe. Um, Seb, are you not leveling health or are you just playing the game normally? Cause so when Aggie and I played Mario RPG, he didn't want to level health just for a challenge. And I was like, okay, sure. And I was thinking what would it be like to not level health on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? And um, it's honestly a lot harder in my opinion. And there's also a badge, dude, there's a badge that makes you take double damage. So it's basically, if you don't get like every single super guard, it's GG's. Scar! Scar, come here! What new souls like? Honestly, the badges in Thousand Year Door is like one of the big reasons why I love that game. They're so fun and there's so many good ones and there's just so many fun ones. I don't remember Super Guard. Yeah, Super Guard is with B. So Super Guard is like a parry, like you do damage to them. So you can finish off an enemy with Super Guard, which is awesome. It's chill, yeah, no, that's totally valid. I think I personally remember a lot, but Aggie remembers like everything. So I think this is just a way to make it a little more interesting for me. I think we're gonna have to level up health though, honestly. It's like, like, it's like really crazy <laughs> to, maybe not yet, but. One thing I don't like about the new Mario games is that they don't, like if you die, it used to be like horrible to die because you go to your old save. And now it's, uh, you can just restart the scene, which is OP. Yeah, it's, I think it's frame perfect, Seb. It's like really hard to get. Guard is a lot easier. You played 15 years ago and you remember a lot, really. Someone did a no super guard playthrough, dude. It's, it's kind of crazy with that. Like, I mean, depending on if you level your HP a lot. I think we're just trying to have a little bit of a challenge, just because we both are pretty familiar with it. And it sure is, actually. Why did those miss, but okay. Landing frame perfect is fun. Have you, so you didn't even know it was in that game until right now? There is a badge that does like, uh, well actually, I don't know if I should say. I mean, it's not, is it spoiler? I don't know. I've not played Ghost of Tsushima and I've not really tried the Wolong weapon. What do I remember? I remember stuff here and there. I remember like, like, key points of the game but Aggie remembers like where to go how to solve everything exactly who's about to show up next you know I've talked about everything else oh yeah no I won't uh, I'm not using pure again hi Zade is it fun for me the game my favorite game of all time probably 
or at least one of them. Is it fun for me? Yeah. Good night, True. Thanks, man. That experience? Yeah, of course it's fun for me. What happened with the Demon Souls Hitless run yesterday? I finished it. So how many of you guys saw my Instagram shoes? Because I got, in real life, everyone in my real life thought they were sick, but on Instagram, almost every single message except for like Ricky Peacock said they were ugly. <laughs> you don't follow my G? Okay, well you just don't have to answer that list then. And just let the people who do follow my IG answer. Have I played Witcher 3? No. You're not answering? You don't like them, Sibla? They're sick, aren't they sick? They're awesome. <laughs> You don't like them, gay? <laughs> Dude, anyone who doesn't like those shoes is bad just in style. I'll be honest. They're just like thick ass Jesus sandals. <laughs> and they add like three inches of height on me. You did see them. Yeah, they're basically just thick Jesus sandals. Hi, Calvazoka. They're converse, they're sick. That sounds terrible. Dude, I have this like addiction with trying to make ugly things, trying to pull off ugly things. I've been like that for a while. That's why maybe sometimes I'll try to wear an ugly thing and people will think it's ugly. Kind of like Hawaiian shirts. You just call them thick ass Jesus sandals and attack me for having no taste. Who doesn't love thick ass Jesus sandals sometimes? Maybe one day I'll actually do it while at word. Ugly things. I don't I parry? Uh, sometimes I do. Which pose? It's in my story of today. One day I'll actually make something ugly look good. Okay, Wes. Jesus was drippy. I think they're sick. I love them, they're so cool. I used to have a similar pair from Amazon that were like flatter on the soles. And uh, my sister borrowed them and I lost them. Well, she lost them. So I just bought these ones now. Don't Doesn't you wearing anything make it ugly? I hope not. I don't know, sometimes I wear things that are ugly and they just look ugly. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> but sometimes I wear things that are ugly and they look cool. So, I don't know. <laughs> you can tell a lot about a person by what they think is drippy. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Also, the thing about dodging is there's an amulet that gives you uh, unlimited dodges based on not based on like not based on your stamina like you have unlimited dodges no matter how much stamina you have which is really useful for uh having low stamina since i'm not leveling it obviously i press another charge attack oh well thanks for the bits azion i think your hair is nicer than your sandals well that's very sweet why can't I have both? Be nice. I find medieval armor drippy, but I can't wear that all the time. They're dad core, but also I'm kind of short. Okay, I'm not sure, but I actually do like dad outfits here and there. That's kind of the whole ugly pulling off ugly clothes thing. Hi, Sabic. Okay, this might sound like opium, but I swear my inputs aren't going through. I wore a Hawaiian shirt like literally three days ago, was on stream. 
Wes, can you actually pretend like you support this channel? It was a day off. Then it was two days ago. My favorite soul is like a Sekiro. The fishing outfit, yeah. And I had a, a bucket hat on. To repair my weapon. No, actually, I never have to repair my weapon. I don't think I've ever repaired my weapon in this run so far. Yeah, I, dude, you have to be so fucking patient. Some people can make the ugliest outfits look sit with how they compose themselves. Sick. Yeah, that's what I always say. Confidence is key, dude. Did my nail bleed? When? I wore a Hawaiian shirt to a big anime and manga con. Pokemon team ended up in first row for most of the concerts. They put you first row because of um because of your shirt? Really? The epitome of drip. Oh yeah, yeah, I did it, blood. I'm not reading chat while well, I'm also dying a lot. Makima cosplay win. I've done Makima cosplay twice, I think. Yes, I have. Sad bound for first row because you got early. Okay, what does that have to do with your shirt then? Hi, Rail 12. Yeah, I've done it twice and they're both on my Instagram. I'm excited for the for the swamp monster arc. Yeah, before the other day, it's been a while since I won a Hawaiian shirt, but it's because I just go through phases, dude. I also went through like a phase of wearing a headband every single stream, and then I haven't worn one in years. I have like just identity crisis in fashion, that's all. Guys, I decided I'm doing Sekiro themed nails tomorrow. Well, I don't know if they're gonna be super Sekiro, they're just gonna be like Japanese Sekiro themed. They're gonna be cool. Sage, hi, hope you're having a nice play deal from I am. Thanks for uh thanks for the three months of dude. Welcome. And many is the wrench now. It's not a phase, Parky. It is a phase though. <laughs> But it's fun! It's fun having a various amount. No, not all the Japanese shit is the same ever. Anyway, the thing is, I looked up on Pinterest Sekiro nails, and I obviously nothing came up. And I actually googled Sekiro nails, and I came up on Google Images, which is kind of funny. Uh, so that's not useful. So I basically just wanted like watercolory red, kind of like smoky with like the kanji from Sekiro on it. So if you look up Japanese nails, that sort of thing comes up in other colors. So I'm just gonna use that as a reference. Check your Insta, Makima cosplay looks great, and also big fan of the doll cosplay. Thanks, man. Why, Park? You're so popular. Why? From what? Oh, because I come up? Yeah. I think I've posted a lot of tweets saying, uh, saying, um, <laughs> I'm gonna speedrun Sekiro with long nails, because I'm just like so cringe for saying that so many times. 
Okay, I have to be super patient. Only two hits at a time, except for those three. Why didn't he do it? Hey, with all due respect, why didn't he do it? Why? No, that's not a throw. You know what we learned from the last attempt? The last attempt we learned that you have to predict when he's gonna do it. Because if you don't predict when he's gonna do it, then you go too late. So that's not a throw. You have to fucking guess. And every single time you hit halfway, he does it. That was so weird. I, d I don't really know why that happened. Whatever. Okay, okay, what the hell kind of option is that? I marry marry Romeo for sure, and then kill Lady McQueen. <laughs> I don't know how to rank all the Soulsborne games. What, you guys would marry or frick the car? You guys would do that? <laughs> yeah, they, no, they buffed Romeo's fight as I was fighting it. That's crazy. Cats messages me like this is so stupid. True love sees past physical pain. You guys know there was a, a My Strange Addiction for a... Was it My Strange Addiction? Someone was... For lack of a better word, <laughs> someone was freaking their <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not comfortable with that sentence. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Google it. Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, it's weird. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's just fake. I don't know if it's mental problem. I don't know. I don't know, dude, but like <laughs> weird. Did I just talk about what? My strange addiction is so weird. There was another one that someone was uh, eating paint. Honestly, the paint looked kind of good. If you ask me, the paint looks satisfying to eat. However, I don't eat paint, okay? But it definitely looks kind of satisfying to eat. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if those are real though. Like, surely they're not, right? The eating, the eating the mattress was one, yeah. Eating husband Ash, and that was a, another one, yeah. Weird. Weird. Whole family was eating, was addicted to eating makeup and baby powder. 
I think someone was addicted to eating their wall or something, and they just liked the way it crunched like chalk or something like that. What's my price to fake a strange addiction? Well, what would be the addiction that I'd have to fake? Cover of bugs. Uh, <laughs> what twists? Why would you even think of that? Licking switch cartridges. Extreme cheapskates where the lady cooks in the dishwasher. Yeah, the extreme cheapskates is weird too. Sometimes I feel like those are fake as well. I don't know. Hi, Carter. I'm having a nice day. How's your day? Yeah, I also like the Switch cartridge. Sebla, I'm very open about that. Trying to step on my face. No, I don't encourage licking cartridges, no. I don't encourage that, it's just something that happens sometimes. The only throwable that's fair game is shot put. I think shot put's OP, the fact that you can stagger with it. I think that's, that's unbalanced as well. Try receipt paper. What, Jericho, why do you eat receipt paper? You liked my shoes, thank you. You wanna lick nail polish? You know what my mom taught me one time? Or it wasn't my mom, it was like a woman who used to babysit me. The way you test if your nail polish is dry is if you lick it and it um, is dry. <laughs> uh, I don't, maybe she was joking, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Well, I also had a different strat to drying nail polish, which is just putting it under cold water, which is pretty normal strat. That's what I used. But if it's not dry, that actually happened to me once, and I'm fine. Russian roulette of nails. Like licking no wait what would you ask what sorry what <laughs> wait what how did he reach me you like licking nose rings or other people's nose <laughs> wait what <laughs> wait sorry what did you, did you have a typo in that message is not my favorite favorite game, but it's pretty good. Taste metallic -y. You mean the metal in your nose? You know, you can just grab some change and <laughs> lick the change. <laughs> the smell of gas. I love the smell of gas, and I don't know why. I don't know what the science is around the smell of gas, but damn, I love the smell of gas. Yeah. I always like to open the door at the gas station. Well, as a kid, I used to. Obviously, now I get out. Hi Zesky, I am having fun. Gasoline, yeah, like at the gas station. I also love the smell of nail polish. And I love the smell of going to the nail salon. <coughs> so what Jess, are you talking about your own? <coughs> do you like take do you like um they add the smell, kitty? So that you can identify leaks. Well, what did they add the smell? Like, what is the smell of that they've added? You're gonna go do your homework? Good luck, David. S 
saying the other <laughs> I actually can't tell if this is a troll or not. Are we about to lose with Jazz? My no level blood one is crazy, dude. It was crazy. It was crazy in all the ways it could be crazy, yes. Thanks for watching it. <laughs> Hi, Shant. Hi, Simi. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome into the stream. Darn, that was hitless. Actually, infinitely dodged. That feels like super OP. <laughs> really mad is so good. <laughs> Stop doing the fucking cringe moves. online the smell of gas is odorless but they add the smell yeah so that people are aware that's what this person just said yeah yeah for this run it's super op you just can't attack but that's okay honestly with jazz at this point i'm dying to phase one more than i'm dying to phase two maybe it's because you can't get to phase two without surviving phase one but you know still how much do i have left of this game about half it's two health bars. I'm not distracted by chat. I've never been distracted in my life, dude. So what happens if I do this? Did that just buff me? Wait, what did that even do? Is he a puppet or a real boy? He's a puppet. Professional streamer, yeah, exactly. See, I'm gonna know here while reading chat. Watch. Okay, I didn't even reach out in that moment. <laughs> You're wrong, follow me, is that what it says? I'll try and be focused, alright? I can't believe how easy phase 2 is if you just dodge.
now he's gonna do the fire move. I, I like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Unforge. Whose birthday is it today? It's Fake Seb's birthday today? Uh, yeah. Is that move red? Can I dodge the final of that combo if that actually happens? Did anyone notice? Yeah, I can I can parry the first half, but I think the second half breaks your stamina anyway, even if you parry perfectly. No, it's it is red. Oh damn. I'm I'm okay at the first half. What do I do with the second half? But can I run from it? Or will he chase me? You can dodge all but the end. Well I can parry the first half. You can dodge all of it, how? Happy par Park Day Birth in Harbor. No, not acrobatics. I mean the final half of that combo, the fire combo. If I can't pull off the uh, break. Because I can parry the first half, but then the second half will stamina break me. It seems. Drew, thank you for priming. I'm just, I'm not gonna run because I can't do that. I'm, it, first of all, I don't believe that it works unless he is literally on the entire side of the arena and you're on the other side. But then when am I gonna actually attack him? Run in circles. Romeo's inside this guy, yeah. I dodge a ton during Firefowl and I've got a hit list that way. So you just spam the dodge as he attacks, even though it's uh, red? Honestly, Romeo, other than the fire move, is so easy to just dodge. I am actually shocked at how easy that is. He's way less aggro. Though it is way less fun. It's really cool to perfect with parrying. You have to stay. What does he say? pretty easily and dodge a ton. Okay. I'll try. I'll just base it off of what we're doing. I don't know. First phase of poking a guy in the junk. Okay, how many souls bosses aren't poking a guy in the junk though? At least two, and that's it though. Especially dragons, eh? So satisfying, I don't know why.
That looked like he was gonna do it, doesn't it? I have no idea. Maybe he'll do it now then. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh god. What the hell was that? All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're getting progress, we're getting progress. That's a toughie, that comes out so fast. Well, I'm pretty sure I have seen that, but like, I think it's, when I'm parrying everything, it's a little easier to like, fast parry that, but I don't, I have to just keep it in mind, I guess. Honestly, when fights last this this long, you start to see stuff you've never seen before. <laughs> like, I fought Radon before where he did the go up in the sky and then come down move. He did it twice, at least, in one of my fights. And I told that to Aggie and he like almost didn't believe me. I have not played Neo. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. The Neo fans are extremely um, resilient. Sushi Bar Samurai. Thank you for the three months up. Well, say the line about what? Gold 4, nice graphic, you're coming for me. Do your thing, man. I don't win every game, okay? I will say about our game today, at the, the first half of the game I was having really bad pulls and you seemed like you were having really good pulls. And I actually thought I was gonna lose, but then the second half of the game I was getting really useful pulls. you ask is more time before you play it. Well, I don't know. To be fair, I'm also new to the deck that I'm using, but it, it has won me a lot more than my new... Ah, uh, why does that sometimes hit and sometimes it doesn't hit? Bright, thank you very much for your uh, three months of the mentals are fighting this boss. Oh my god. Can I stop talking about the game till they give you your money? Wes, aren't you the one who thinks it's good to support things that you like without being sponsored? And by that I mean Chirofish when I was saying I, I, I Chirofish should sponsor me. And you were like, Parky, it's okay to talk about things you want. <laughs> Hi Chum, I was playing Dark Souls 1 for the first time and I was invaded by a guy with a big sword and at the same time using magic. I died, damn. That is so sad. How do I vote more than one? There's ways that you can vote with like bits or channel points or something, but you have to turn that on. 
I have not played Steel Rising, though. I don't think I've ever had that turned on. Did she make you sound like a bitch or did you just sound like a bitch? That's a good question with Jazz. Seb here, did Seb leave? Does anyone know? Let's have a discussion. So let's say I get my computer built tonight. What do I have to figure out before I stream with it? You're literally here. Okay, sorry, I'm literally fighting the boss and I didn't see your death message. Sorry, dude. Build it on stream. How about I build it on your mom? <laughs> reinstall. So I'd have to reinstall Steam and all the gamer things, but like, I don't have to reinstall the stream things, at least not for now. Maybe one day I would do a stream on it. Five split, I guess. Did Seb answer? No, he didn't answer. He said smash. <laughs> yeah, I need live split, that's right. But other than downloading my own things, is there something that happens before? Like, what's the process of downloading Windows like? Is it like weird? Start with Opera GX, yeah. Update BIOS, no, <laughs> no. Seb, are you trolling? I swear Seb just likes to get into BIOS. <laughs> like every single problem I have requires me to update my BIOS. <laughs> BIOS is my safe space. <laughs> Fuck the BIOS. I hate going into my BIOS. <laughs> Seb is addicted to BIOS, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ever play Final Fantasy? Oh yeah, every day. Yeah, so okay, here's the thing. What happens if I turn on my computer with like nothing? Where does what does it open to? What does it turn on to? Like what if I set everything up, don't download Windows or anything, and then I just press start, then what? It says you're missing OS. It goes to BIOS. <laughs> What does bio stand for again? <laughs> My mom goes to bio. So okay. <laughs> Basic input output system. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, nice. Poor Crux, thanks for the prime sub. Yo, thanks, man. Oh, this boss won by lot. Oh, that's interesting. Before it's on, stupid. <laughs> so true, quick. <laughs> what is that angry cat emo? <laughs> Boing oing yoings. <laughs> Bro, what is this chat on tonight? What are you guys on, dude? Oh, it's bitch. On my mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Aggie's computer keeps breaking and I and I told him like, oh, it, you know, maybe you have a serious issue. I'm like, yeah, doesn't it make you want to get a dual PC setup because then you won't have that problem with your stream, every single stream? And he's like, no, I think it's just a crab game. And I'm like... 
<laughs> yeah, quad PC, quad PC, let's go. Good night, Ilya. Thanks, man. Hi, Nova. Thank you for the 13 months. Oh, thank you, Nova. Uh, no, Jackie, I didn't say it yesterday either. How are we today? I'm Pog. How are you? Hi, can't stay partay. Why is Eggie busy with my mom? I go ask him. I don't know. Crazy land party with eight PCs in the house. True. Darn. Guys, today I was on TikTok and and they were talking about the creator fund on TikTok and I was so mad because the creator fund is only in freaking America. And they're like in process to make it in India or something. Like, why isn't it in Canada? It's so dumb. It's like so stupid. Their creator fund on TikTok is literally money you get from views. Like, it's like the best kind of money you can get. Just plain and simple views. It's not about ads. It's not about sponsors. It's just how many views you get. And I don't get that many views, but I think I, I have enough views for like, you know, just a little bit of extra pocket change. And so I went on there and I was like, you know what? Aggie has an American address, like whatever, whatever. Let me go try and put it in to America. Let's just change my country to America, bro. They're literally like, you have to live in America for 90 days, bro. Hey Danny! Hire me to manage your TikTok and I'll sort out the money. Yeah, maybe I should, unironically. Danny, thank you for five gifted subs. Thanks so much, man. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hi Danny, how's your uh, Sunday? IG is a similar situation, also only in America. I'm actually pissed. I saw this one girl, there's this one girl who I follow who like, talks about all of her income. Hey, we have a golden kappa train, let's fucking go. Thanks guys. And uh, I have a girl who I follow who always talks about her income and like breaks it down. And she gets a couple hundred dollars from uh, from Instagram reels. And I looked at Instagram reel. I looked at her views. Her views are like way less than mine on Instagram Reels. But, so I was like, yeah, I'll take a couple hundred views at least. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, that sounds sick. I mean, a couple hundred dollars a month, sure, that sounds great. Bro, yeah, it doesn't exist in Canada, damn it. It's like actually cringe, I'm being wrong. Casper and Sebla, thank you guys for the gifts. I know you guys are only gifting for the Kappa, but I'll take it anyway. Reels pop up on my explore page even though I follow you on Instagram? That's awesome. Indian- it's not an Indian food addiction anymore. Gay, thank you for the gift. Thank you. You don't want Kappa, is that okay? No, it's not okay. You must have golden Kappa or else. A gift because you're cool. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Parker Beaver. Damn, West. Who gift? Who guilted you into that? Because it wasn't me. It is Chortle, my portal. Jason, thanks for the prime sub, Jason. Well, giving you a sub cure my receding hairline, it's worth a try. I don't know, no promises though. Why did I re chortle my squirtle? What do you mean? Yeah, I get a heal after, yeah, 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 classic. How do I pronounce? I'm not saying that word, I don't know. 
People will be mean to me. It's fun to see streamers react to my name. Yeah, true. I think at least your name's not actually harmless. I love that new angry emo. It's so funny. Okay. It's a plant squirrel. Yeah, I, uh, I figured. Good night, Dolly. No, I think Aggie had that emo with us. Fight phase two, I'm like, wow, I've been here for so long. He's at halfway yet, and he's not even near halfway yet. Okay, one more attempt and then I'm taking a bathroom break. Uh, Horizon, thank you for the 400 bits and master links. Thank you for the for the gifted sub. Use fire on him from where? Which fire should I use on him? Why did I yell at Horizon? It was just an exclamation of positivity. Good night, TPG. <laughs> Hi, Marzipan. Yeah, I am graphic. I mean, I'm definitely making progress. I'm not that mad about it. Perfect time to air your grievances. Okay, do it. I do not have the armor to fire. Electricity is better on him, though. I mean, fire is better than nothing, yeah, but electricity is better. like so greedy but like oh it's so fucking annoying alicia thank you for gifting to a west mark uh, a west mark not the west mark um what's the command for an ad it used to be is it run what? I, I usually do it through stream manager, but I don't have it open anymore. Is it ad? I don't, it, no, it's not commercial. I, I That's what I thought it was, but it said no matches. I think they changed it. No, it used to be commercial. It used to be, I don't see, is it slash? Oh, it doesn't work on the pop out one. It only works on this one. Okay, BRB chat, see you soon.
Blop shaky glop shaky blop shaky lop shaky plop shaky lop shaky glop rave shaky alop shaky glop shaky blop shaky lop shaky plop shaky lop shaky glop rave shaky alop shaky glop shaky blop shaky lop shaky plop shaky lop shaky glop rave shaky alop shaky glop shaky blop shaky lop shaky plop shaky lop shaky glop rave shaky alop shaky glop shaky blop Shaky lop, shaky plop, shaky lop, shaky glop, rave, shaky a lop, shaky glop, shake. Hello, what's up chat? How are the ads? How are the ads? Oh my god, so many people sub while I was gone. Yeah, sub, I saw it. Thank you, dude. Do I think it's worth to get perfect or destruction on a light weapon? Honestly, like, I don't think so. Every time I've broken weapons in the game, it was with a heavy weapon, which is like so much easier. But you can still try. I think it's like double though. Double the amount of parries or like almost double. I don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's true, but. Um, John, thank you for the three month sub. Sazion, thank you for the gifted sub. Um, Jock Sanks, thanks for the brand new organic sub. Grace, thank you for the brand new organic sub. And Casper, thanks for gifting to Fido and Furious Taco Sauce. Thank you for the one year. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. How to use the golden guy. Uh, I think it's. Wait, I don't know. I think, is it just Kappa? Yeah, it's that. It's just that we have gold ones. Oh my god, we have 30 subs. Let's listen into the wall meow. Let's go. Thank you for 30 Does subs. Does anyone hear that? Does anyone see that? There seems to be a cat on the Capital, wall. Capital uh, K, meow. Grace. The wall. Meow. 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 It's the a nice wall. one. Now you gotta go into other people's chats and use the wall. it. The wall. Meow. 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 The wall. Mookie, I'm pretty sure it's the weight of the blade. I think you need to have a heavy blade. The wall. 
now. That's just based off of nothing except for my testing. The wall. Rolex, thank meow. you for some reading on YouTube. Wall. Thank you. Dude. Meow. The wall. 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 The wall. The wall. The wall. Meow. The wall. Thanks for 30 subs, guys. Bro, sometimes it hits and sometimes it doesn't. How am I supposed to know? Uh. <laughs> Damn, Seb, that was fast. <laughs> oh my god. That was like almost instant, dude. I watch with my window open and I always hope my neighbors get this bop while walking the stairs. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Hi, Maidenless. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, ah, yeah, that was fast. Nice one, Seb. So, guys, uh... So, how's that airplane food? Walmeow was so good. Wait till you hear Walmeow version 3. Saying you play Liza P makes you want to play Liza P, dude. Ain't that the truth? I love Liza P. You see how long I've been on this damn boss and I'm actually in a great mood today still because I love this game. No, gay, that was a new chatter. Mods around here are on it, dude, you gotta be. Unless you want your chat to be full of weirdos like that. Seeing you play Liza P makes me lose faith in humanity. Oh, Sw Swamp Monster Burrow wasn't even Swamp Monster's worst move. You're heartbroken, you missed Wall Meow. Well, maybe we'll hear it again. And if we don't, well, maybe we'll hear it again tomorrow. I'm just gonna have to dodge during that one move and just not be greedy. I love that about the community. If someone's out of line, you don't want them to be there. It makes it welcome. Well, that's the point, yeah. It's just, it's such a slippery slope. And honestly, a good way of showing that is the YouTube chat before it was member only. It's like, if you have no one in there or if you have no one like shaping it, it's just like insane. It's just like weird as fuck. Any update on GDQ? We're waiting for them to, uh, to put out the uh, schedule. Do you know when they're gonna do that? If Aggie gets into it, then um, we're gonna go. If he doesn't, then we're not gonna go. Maybe we can go to your VOD channel, watch a VOD when you used to start streaming with VOD. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, Grace, it's kind of tough. Do you know when it'll be out? Eggy and Spicy submitted a race. Uh, I don't know if they ended up doing it, but I know they plan to. Which would be cool to see. Yeah, graphic. Dude, it was like this last year as well. There are so many events happening now, and like I get invited to very few of them, but Eggy gets invited to a lot of them. And I go as a plus one sometimes. He went on one trip alone. It was literally like so many trips last year, which is cool and all, obviously, but um, also like as much as streaming, like you make your own schedule and all that, you also like can't really be that irresponsible with it.
Sometimes I wonder if being a YouTuber would be easier with things like that because like you can just film videos whenever and then post them while you're on vacation, but also like your every single thing you do has to be edited, which is a lot of hard work. So I always wonder what's better. I think Jacksepticeye or someone who's mainly a YouTuber streamed and said streaming was much easier. I don't know. Make your own schedule is sometimes synonymous with work all the time. Yeah. But hey. Too many vacations and we'll forget you. Yeah, exactly. Dude, my strap is like uncomfortable right now. Well, I think when YouTubers turn into streamers, I don't know if it's because it's easier. It's kind of, I feel like it's like just past their peak and not in like a bad way, but kind of just like they're passionate about doing something at some point and they're kind of past that part of their life. And now they just want to like vibe with something a little chiller. Cause Ryan Higa's old stuff was like a lot more higher effort and doesn't feel like something you can upkeep forever. I could be wrong though. Unfortunately. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I haven't seen that move since back back in the day, dude. Okay, well, we're progressing, it's fine. I'm still kind of learning how to work with phase two too, but that's okay. Uh, you know what I always think about? Um, sometimes it makes better videos if you add something like what it was. The days of uploading uncut VODs are kind of dead. Um, um, yeah, unless you've been doing it, like, like Game Grumps. I think, I think, yeah, I agree that it's dead, but I think since they've been doing it, they are still kind of going with that. Dude, what Game Grumps do is, like, it feels like the life. Now, maybe, maybe they're struggling with more than what it seems like. I don't know. Like, I feel like there's always negatives to things. But, like, what they do is they, they post 30-minute videos unedited. Or, like, their editors go through it and, like... We'll just make sure it's all good, but it's un uncut usually. Um, and they can just film it and just go on, like just film like a billion things a day. Cause they only post one 30 minute thing a day and not even seven days a week, like six days a week. And like, that's it. Like, I'm not saying it's like the easiest thing ever. Like they're living life, like the most easy thing ever, but from what it looks like, that definitely looks like the cheat code, right? It's probably still a lot of work. I mean, sure, yeah. They play for like, you know, whole days or like whatever, the same amount of time that I stream probably. I'm not saying it's easy, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it... What I'm talking about is the fact that they can... Like my, one big thing that I've been struggling with recently with streaming is just the fact that like all my evenings are used and like, it's just a little bit difficult, you know, to like, be with my family like today i was with the entire family and like my extended family but i had to leave for stream which is like i mean you know 
I make my own schedule, I understand that. <laughs> but I feel like with what something like Game Grumps do, they, they don't have to have issues like that all the time. But yeah, I mean, again, I'm sure there's good and bads to it, like, whatever. None of it's, like, easy cheat code 100%, no problem, like, easy free money. No, the baby wasn't there. My, my niece was not there. Dan's in a band and Aaron runs a separate company, I believe. Um, yeah. Yeah, but the band isn't about Game Grumps. You go after grew up in your hometown. That's really cool. What, what is it? Imagine streaming mornings. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Wait, is, is Covalent Ball reading it, Seb? Is, is Covalent Ball doing the deaths? Covalent Ball is doing the deaths, not you? But he's doing it with your account? He's not doing it with his account. He is! Wait, you did, you brought that back in like the last 10 minutes. Yay, hi Covalent Ball, welcome back. Good bot. <laughs> No, I'm not using my arm. She says the name different than how you pronounce it. What, Covalent Bot? It just doesn't die on ads, Seb, anymore. When Covalent Bots. Yeah, dude, it's the bot. That's fucking cool. You have to bypass ads and you can. Need oh, I have to not die on ads. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I got that. Don't worry. You read it as covalent? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Even <laughs> with a gift sub, he gets ads. No. How does that work, Seb? Do I get ad revenue for covalent bot? Or is it just like. Twitch is making him watch ads just to be a Twitch. Just to spike the bots. Mr. Elysia, thanks for gifting a covalent bot, dude. Thanks, man. Don't ask the question why. I will say, like, I'm struggling on this, and I was also struggling on, like, uh, Ebrietis and BL4. But I, this is way better. Ebria, this is just a bunch of bullshit. I guess matches his ad just soon. Ads are, current, ads are currently playing. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm more patient. Yeah, I actually like this boss. I wish I could jump. That's one of flaw of this game. Etiquette the umbrella? I can't use it. I've wasted the uh, amulet. I think. No, I have. I bought all the amulets that I could have. The weapon is upgraded, but I don't know if I can upgrade it more. I need to check if I can. I'd like to. I can't buy from the store, but I wonder if I can farm. No, I am potentially open to another build. I'm actually might look into the Salamander Dagger for Swamp Monster.
I wish my heal healed me more. America's got that one. Imagine if I went to America's Got Talent casually and you guys didn't know. How would you not know that? I'm gonna heal. Yes. I needed a free heal there. It always looks like it's gonna attack me, it's just like a dash. Is he gonna do it? I don't know if that's gonna count as canceling it to be honest. I think he might do it right when he wakes up here. I'm about to run, actually. Don't chase me, please. I don't think he's gonna do it. Sick, sick parry there. Please don't do it. Oh no! I landed the parry like every fucking time, except for the most important. Wow. Thank you for the bits, Grolix. Yeah, the game's a good game. I went for the parry. Well, I couldn't dodge that one. I dodged the other two because I was already walking backwards, but there I couldn't dodge it. I wasn't far enough. That wasn't greed. That wasn't greed. No, I couldn't. I couldn't dodge that. I was too close. No, it wasn't greed. It wasn't greed. I just, I honestly thought I could parry because I couldn't run. I would have run if I could, but I was too close. Yeah, it was skill issue, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Sarah, thanks so much, Tag. You know who I think is living the life? And I don't know if maybe their life sucks behind the scenes, but um, I always think about how these guys are living the life. Um, good Mythical Morning. I don't know when they film their, their shows, but like, they're YouTubers, they get a million views on every single video, more or less. Yeah, Rhett and Link. They're like best friends, they grew up best friends. I mean, they have nice families, they have kids, they have wives. They're tall, they're handsome, they're nice. Like, just like perfect lives.
Rhett's new music slab. I actually agree, yeah. Link gives you creepy vibes. That's weird. No, I love both of them. And I just know they're nice guys because of what they did for Smosh. I mean, I don't know them personally. Maybe they're not nice guys normally, which is weird. I've heard only good things. But the fact that they bought Smosh and then just to return it back to Smosh is like so cool. I think Link is just kind of cringe, like kind of old man cringe, but otherwise he's like not a weirdo or creep or anything. Red does sound more boomery every day. Their humor is very boomery, it really is, but I think it's very, uh, I think it's kind of endearing. It just feels very like, just like nice, like it's good to watch, it's feel good. As far as online creators go, they're some of the best. I would put them, I, I think, from what I know, which honestly, maybe they're horrible evil people. Like it's kind of, obviously I don't actually know them, but I think you can just say they're nice guys based on what we know. Like there's a lot of shittier non-creators than they are as creators. Feels cozy, yeah. I've watched them forever as well. I used to love their music, just their like goofy like nerd versus geek rap battles and stuff. No, I'm not starting online beef, no. Yeah, Jericho, me too. I I don't like the crew stuff. I hate Mythical Kitchen. I think that shit is so boring. But it doesn't really matter. No, don't post that. I like them. <laughs> What if they see it? People who are still around that aren't weird in some way. I think there's some. A lot of the crew is cringe. I don't think so. I mean, I appreciate like the group settings and I think it's fun seeing that they're all friends and whatever, but yeah, it's just not really for me, but I don't think it's a bad thing. No, I am not watching the new Mad Pet shit without him, no. I'm, I'm the kind of person to not even give that a shot. I just don't care, unfortunately. That's just not how it works for me. To me, it's all about the personality, the talent. But I mean, I'm sure the new person's just fine. I don't think MadPat would hire someone that's bad. It's like when uh, equals three. Wait, is that his name? What's his name? Ray William Johnson, is that his name? When he sold his thing, obviously no one's gonna watch it. He was like all personality too. Not really confident about this attempt to be honest. Okay. He baited me. Yeah, he I watch GT Live, yeah. I don't watch uh I don't watch the main channel anymore. Map did Map Pat fall off? Uh Map Pat retired. <laughs> Map Pat fully retired because he has a baby. Maybe two, I don't know. Ray William Johnson is on TikTok now. I actually watch him on TikTok. Yeah, I watch him, I like him. He seems like a nice guy. I don't know. Do I know FNAF lore? Oh, of course I know FNAF lore. As long as MadPat said it, I know it. Yeah, he's cool, he's cool, he's cool. Yeah, it's the until. I probably forgot it all. Yeah, I don't know that I could explain it all, but I think like in the FNAF movie, I was like, oh yeah, I remember learning about that. Are you guys watching the new, the new GT, the new game theory guy? Is it like similar? Is it just some random guy or is it like a friend or like a brother or something?
Where does the joke that I hate bald people come from? Um, I don't know. My chat makes fun of me, so they're just my chat's cringe. That's all. You unsub when he retired? I didn't unsub. I just don't watch him. I'm not really one to unsub to people who I don't watch anymore. Yeah, I'm on YouTube a lot. These fights are taking forever. Yeah, I think FNAF is a boring game, but I think the lore is so fun. Well, maybe not boring. Maybe boring is the wrong word. Like, just not for me. Perry then. See, if you're that far, I don't think you can dodge it. Maybe you can somehow, but I don't know. See, there I can because I was ready for it. But if he just does it randomly, then I can't. I don't know, man. Unfortunate RNG. I actually started watching Matt Pet when he did slideshow videos and Ronnie was his editor. I started watching Matt. I don't know when I started watching, but my one of my first videos were like the Mario is a psycho psychopath or whatever the hell it was. Yeah, I think that all I need is just, I need the stars to align a little bit, you know, and, uh, and I'll get it. It's just like, what do you, like, what do you guys think I should do there? Like, cause I need to anticipate the fire move. Cause I don't have time to pull off the fable or otherwise. Like, what do I do? Grievous, everyone hated the sandals except for like three people. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, stance break phase two on purpose because I think the only way I can uh, break him out of his fire attack is if uh, I didn't stance break him already. And then I think that stance break will go into, like, I think it'll roll over a little bit and then it'll break instead of doing the fire move. Do the dodge? How do you do it? What is it? I wish the second half was easier to work with. I'd kind of just win. Oh, okay. Is there? A, there's a cooldown for stance break. Um, yeah. So what it is, to my knowledge, is like if you do it in phase in the first half of of second phase, um, it's not gonna build enough for you to be able to stance break him again. Which is yeah. I guess that's a cooldown. Kind of. 
And that's why some people can break him out of his fire attack with the charge attack and some people can't. I think. That's how I think it is. I don't have actual proof on that. But it seems like that. Didn't hit me there. I don't know why. Blackberry switched to, to Rin everywhere, didn't it? Yeah, I watched a Blackberry movie too. That was a good movie. Well, the source is just me playing and me watching other people play. It's not like I've actually gone through and tested it though. But I think it's a decent experience. I've played this game a lot. And watched it a lot. So yeah, I guess I could be wrong. It's just a bar? Well, yeah. Like it's going down, right? But when you stance break him in phase two, it goes to zero. And so when you hit him again when he's halfway, it doesn't hit 100, so he doesn't get stance broken. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, which makes sense, right? Hi, D. Franco. The act from Always Sunny. He is really good. I was like, he was, he played that character perfectly, yeah. Can you use the Fable or two, the second one, to do what second one? To do, to do the, the what? Man, if, if what happened in the Blackberry movie is what happened in actually to Blackberry, I feel so sad for them. Like, the thing about his fire move is that the first half is okay to parry, but the second half, I think, is, like, scripted to break your stamina. Or, like, at least lower your stamina and it would break at this level. Which sucks, kind of. I don't know if that's true, but I think so. If it was just the first half twice, I could do it. Reminds you of uh, Ornstein with his broken ass dodges. I mean, dashes. Question mark. What the hell? I don't know he could do that. <laughs> I mean, I knew he could parry me. I didn't know that would block my my fable art. For my testing, R1, R2 tap takes the same frames but deals more stance than R1, R1. This. Yeah, I just don't like that this jumps you back. It kind of fucks up my whole flow. Hyper armor, rip. That wasn't greed. It's just unfortunate RNG. I think honestly the way I'm gonna get this fight is just good RNG. Because sometimes you have to commit to doing the fable art. Hi Hunter. Cause you can't do it when he's in the middle of a move cause then he'll kill you. Like maybe I could do it if I had full health. I guess I could try, but I don't think it's worth the risk. Cause I have like zero poise. So you have to do it when he's not doing anything. And then if he just does a fast move, I mean that's not really my problem. Well, it's my problem directly, but it's not my fault. He swings his weapon back and forth. Yeah, no, I know that, but I, I I, don't think that's the issue anymore. I've learned it from my deathless run, kind of. Like I parried it decently in my deathless run. Maybe I haven't actually, maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. 
But just to confirm that, someone in the chat, which that could be wrong to be fair, but someone told me that they learned how to parry it as well, and on levels, on level no leveling, you can't do it without a stamina break. Again, they could, maybe it's wrong, I don't know. Fable after foot slam should be safe then. Right, but like, what if he's not doing that move? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of hard to judge when I'm supposed to do it. Because I'm trying to do it as soon as he starts his fire move, which I'm trying to just anticipate. Good night, gay. This is the wall on question, yeah. Fights take so long. <laughs> yeah, the Twitch shot could be wrong. To be fair, I've never actually seen someone on the base stamina deflect the entire combo. So I don't know. No, I don't see TK. I think perfect parry should cause zero stamina. I think it's weird that they take any stamina at all. I feel like perfect parry should be super rewarded in this game. Because they're kind of hard. Hi, Heather. Liza P gives you your money back. It doesn't do that because I was actually wondering if I accidentally leveled somehow, could I just cancel it with money? If it does that, that's awesome. I don't know why Souls doesn't let you. Does it like fuck something up internally or something? I don't understand why you can't just get your money back. There's another game. I don't know if it's Crab or some game recently. Maybe it's Lords of the Fallen. I don't know, but there was a game where they specifically said like, you cannot get your money back. You have to have the exact same amount of levels that you started with. I, d I don't know what game that was, but it was it was like making a point to do that. Com wanting you to commit to your choices, maybe? I guess. Every game but Lop. Yeah, I know, but a game I played recently, I remember actually specifically thinking about how they had to write that. I think what I'm gonna do is just at halfway, I'm gonna try and maybe do the fable art when he does the foot slam. Even if it doesn't look like he's gonna do the fire move. I don't really know what other choice I have. And if he ends up doing the fire move anyway, it's fine. I'll work with it, maybe. Maybe I'll parry the first half and then dodge after. What is it, dodge to the left? Honestly, Graffy, it kind of seems like he won't do the fire move. Because the last run I did, he didn't do the fire move, right? If you stun him past halfway. Unless maybe the fight, unless it takes forever. But if it just takes like regular amount of time, I don't think he'll do it. Or maybe it's just really unlikely for him to do it. Like, yeah, he, that's not half yet. I don't think it's worth doing it there. I didn't- I don't know what just happened. Okay. No! 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 
I deserve better. I deserve better! Damn it. Whatever. I mean, it seemed actually really possible to do that, so it's fine. Uh. Yeah, it was that at the end, that last final hit is the worst out of all of them. He like, I, I, I knew t the timing to dodge all of them, except the final one, he does some weird ass switcheroonie. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. Oh, wherefore art thou, Romeo? <laughs> Any Romeo and Juliet fans in the chat? It's to prevent a normal soul's newbie playing around and somehow dying with their souls before they can respect. Oh, I don't think it's that at all. Souls is so brutal. I don't think they care if you die. Have we gotten close? Oh yeah, totally. It hasn't been like one hit away, but it's definitely been like basically done. I just need like some nice RNG, honestly. I just need him to work with me. That last one was bullshit though. Like I didn't, he wasn't even doing a hyper armor move and he didn't stagger. And I did the fable art. It's cringe. No Mio and Julia. Yeah, that was a weird time in movies, wasn't it? <laughs> the Leo version, the Leo version is really cool. Yeah, I'll admit it. Yeah, Toby, I just need him to like, wait, what? Wait, what did you say? Oh, actually. Yeah, Heather, sometimes the chat does that for me too. It's cringe. I was stepped too far away when I did the Fable art. Yeah, but I, I think it's just the last hit that has to hit him. The same way with the charge and the stagger. You just need the last hit to hit. Did my last hit not hit there? The Termination is my middle name. Oh, I don't know about that one. I think it is just the final hit us to land because that's how I broke him out the other time. I don't want to reset my Porgon because it's a pain to get the shit. Yeah, because it gives actually a headache every time you read it. Yeah. I'm so excited to do 2 p one cl at this event. That one is so cool. I'm really glad it's getting its proper attention. You don't know what the shit means. Yeah, bro, they're like, they're like, get this upgrade to lower the upper part of the lower part of the P organ <laughs> reduction of the P organ that goes up, that reduces at the same time. That's what it says. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Maybe I'm the problem, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Aggie and I are doing 2P1C Sekiro. <laughs> the organ is insane. I can hear his voice. We should do a new game plus run with this. See, I don't like that's the R2 tab. Fuck that, dude. Okay. 
Okay. Hopefully he won't do the fire attack now. I don't know. I don't know, hopefully. Please don't do it. Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! He's listening to me, bro! When did the update happen where Romeo listens to your mic? Where? When did that happen? When? Like, literally let me know, dude. Damn. By the way, from that experiment, I think you could uh, maybe run past like the first few hits, but I think he would get you in the last few hits because he just approaches you for every single move. Oh, that was in December. Great. Cool. So you have to time it. Yeah, you have to time it right, which means you have to predict. Because if I start doing the Fable Lore, as soon as he starts buffing his weapon, it won't, like, hit. It's too it's too long. You know? So that's the issue. Try and That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't. Because it's too- it takes too long. So... I think I'm just gonna have to keep doing what I'm doing and just hope that the prediction's gonna work and that he'll give me good RNG. And then if, if it actually doesn't end up working, I can figure out the last dodge there. Yeah, he flies. Maybe throwable? No throwable. Blood was not letting that slide. I swear he hurt me. My evil demon. I mean, this feels very doable. It really just feels RNG dependent. I don't know if there's a way you can solve this without worrying about RNG. I mean, I'm sure there is by dodging that properly. <laughs> But, you know, it'll happen when it's ready to happen. You have to break him while he's applying fire. No, it's not. No, uh, yeah, no, it's not like quite like that. It depends on a lot of things. Because sometimes if he's applying fire and I do the Fable Art, it actually won't work. Unless he has some stagger beat up. Wait, beat up? Built up? I don't know. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, no arm, no. I don't need it, it's not gonna save the one. Whoa, he just did a ballerina spin! <gasps> oh, that was so beautiful, King of Puppets. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. Guys, my cat is the cutest cat alive. I just wanted to tell you guys that. She's so cute. She loves the uh, aggro crab blanket, by the way. It's so cute. We just laid it out on the floor and she loves it. It's so cute seeing her roll over on it, all that. Why would I get a dog? I love Scarlet. She's so perfect and cute. And if I was going to get another pet, I would get a cat with all due respect. Has anyone been watching any uh, crab speedruns on the side of this at all? I'm curious how fun it is. I'm curious what it's like fighting Voltai without immunity. I want every doggy and every cat to be mine. Yeah. I think Scarlet like, gets lonely from us. Like when we're streaming, I think it really upsets her. Cats are always up to something. Dude, Scarlet's like not. She's just such a nice, sweet girl. She just minds her own business. Like maybe every once in a while she'll do something cat-like, but like, she's usually just chilling. Yeah, Seb, it would. I don't understand why we're not on current patch. I, there was a discussion about this in the Discord and I, I think I'm too like, small brain to understand. Cause we're on like, fake current patch. We're on like a version of the current patch that was like only a beta, not actually public. So you get the bad Voltai and you get some other uh, patches, but you don't get the the Praia Dubia health. I don't know why. Why can't we just go on current patch in that case? It feels like a nuisance. I don't know why we decided that, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm sure there's a reason too that I just don't understand. Your cat sleeps and knocks pens off the counter, that's it. Yeah, Scarlet goes like this to things. When we make her mad, she goes and just like scratches on one of our things.
My mom's cat though is so cute. She's very cat-like, but she's also very dog-like. And she plays fetch and stuff, she's so cute. Why no grindstone? It's just cuz, I don't know. I just don't want to. It'll make it easier, but it won't save the run. Like, this is literally just RNG and skill issue, you know? Anything after that patch is fine. Weak sauce, why though? Why isn't it just current patch? Because Aggro Crab, like, really conveniently went on vacation right now, so they won't be patching anything more. I didn't know he hits you on the way up. Shit, eh? Weird. Hi, Covalent Bot. Great death plus. Okay, I have to not die right now so that Covalent Bot doesn't get lost in the sauce with the ads. I actually did not know he uh, hits you back on the way up. So, yeah, weird. How do I have this headpiece? Uh, it's a new Wolong collab. With the game and Wolong. My mom used to have a cat that would put a paw on her mouth when she started to sing. That's that's funny. I don't know. I'm a little bit torn on how I should handle phase two here. Baron Von Shotgun, thank you for the prime sub. Thanks, man. Wait, there's no content? Well, the game only came out a year ago. Give it some time. Why does Rat have 5k bits cheered? Maybe Rat likes the channel. Nothing's wrong with liking the channel a little bit. That's a big fan in the West. Yeah, there is a rat controlling of that bot, yeah. Insane Perry. Add sub or die, but not you, Parky. True, 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 true. I won't die. I will not die in the next three minutes. Our guardian will be fine. I think the one we have to worry about the most is Swamp Monster. That's like the most endurance fight in the entire game. Even Simon Manis. I fought him forever before and I have some good strats for him. Romeo and Swamp Monster strats are just like fight it, you know? Same with BRB. Too. I, I might struggle on them, I don't know, but like I also have some some uh, strats for them that usually work fine. Maybe like maybe the phase two will kind of screw me, but the phase one, as long as you just run and backstab, it's usually fine.
Hit him in the butt. If you're willing to use fire. Yeah, I might try the fire sal the fire da salamander dagger. I'll see. I'm gonna probably try it without anything else though. If it feels like this, which is just like, I just need some experience and some good RNG, then it'll be fine. Maybe I should just like, not hit him that much and let his stagger meter go down now. And build up later. Is that crazy? It might take forever, but maybe it's good. Wait, why am I on fire? Maybe that's crazy. Like if I can just get his stagger meter to go up in phase two, a lot of this will be a lot easier. Cause then I can just then I can just stagger him with my charge attack and not with the fable art. Oh shit. Big, thank you for the prime sub, dude. Yeah, I'm thinking to chill, right? And then let the stagger meter build up a little later. I don't know if that strat's gonna work. Charging- oh, fuck off. Ugh, that move sucks so bad. I think uh, I need to start charging my weapon, or like, fixing my weapon at the end of phase one. That sucked. I don't really know what to do there, other than perfect parry it, I guess, but it just comes out so fast. If you don't stagger, it doesn't go all the way to- well, that's how I've been doing it, Moo Kid, but if that happens, you have to fable art him. In my fable art, it takes a while to pull off. So what my, like I, I'd like to charge attack uh, instead of fable art, cause charging, charge attacking is easier and faster, but charge attacking won't stagger if, um, if he's not in grog mode. Did I die during ad? It says ads are done. Shit, sorry rats. I wonder if I can tank something so like maybe the final hit of the fire combo doesn't kill me maybe it just uh like maybe it wouldn't kill me if I if it wasn't a counter attack you know what I mean this, like because countering does more like if I dodge just poorly it'll do more damage like what if I just stand still is that crazy It's Samwise. Gee, thank you for the form of organic. I didn't die to other hits in that combo I took. Well, did I get hit or did I get guard? Like, did I guard? I think it was a guard hit. Stand still on the. Well, not the. Just for the final move. Oh, he wasn't in the ad. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. He's pretty good. There he is. It is fun trying to solve this. The strat that everyone wants you to do before was not dodging or guarding. 
not being in his hitbox? How do you do that? Like when you go to the side? Why would you say that? That's disgusting, dude. Jao, thank you for the uh, prime sub, dude. Thanks, man. The strat is disgusting. Well, I don't even know what you're talking about, so I'm not gonna do it. Yo, you guys are gross. That's extremely generous. Wait, tomorrow's a, a holiday for Americans? True? For Patriot Day? Uh, is that a day? <laughs> you got this woman! <laughs> Thanks so much. Minnie, tell me about your run walk today. How was it? Where did you go? I mean, don't tell me where you went, I guess. But was it like a trail? Was it a neighborhood? Your feet hurt. All Memorial Day. Why don't I ask about your days? Minnie wrote in the Discord that she went running, and I was interested in that. And I also do ask people how their days are. Why no parry? Uh, if you fail a parry, it's really not that worth it. You also get more hits than when you dodge. Oh my god. Funding my golden kappa. Yeah, please do. <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Your B day weekend? Hi, Delia. Thank you. What, what was the animal, Mini? Is it raining outside right now? I think it is. God, I can't wait to play Cards and Castles and watch TV after. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm gonna work on my computer. I'm gonna try and finish the build tonight. Is there gonna dump much crap tonight? Uh, no. Did I say that? I don't know if I'll do crab. I'll ask Aggie what the run's like. I, I'm think I'm gonna cook tonight after stream, and I'm gonna watch the stream while I do that, and I'm gonna see what the run's like. Oh, it was a groundhog. That's cute. Wake up because you slept too hard and wonder what happened to your youth. Um, no. I'm trying to think about my youth. I don't like thinking about anything that has to do with, like, time going by. It, like, it makes me have a freak out attack. It's scary, 
starting to get scary. Why is phase one actually harder than phase two? Like phase two, you literally just dodge to the left. I mean, there's that one move that's troublesome, but like other than that, you just dodge to the left. This guy, like, you actually have to think about things. You took damage from the one swipe through block and still had enough health to live one attack while dodging. So you think if I just block the final attack with full health, I can survive it? I think on like a regular playthrough with like parrying and stuff, I think phase one is easier. But there's just too much going on here and you can do too much weird things. But phase two, it really is just like the same thing. It's like, kind of like millennia, like it's easy and told, that one thing. I feel like the attack at the end might be stronger. I don't know. Wait, those attacks only do one third of my health, you think? I'm gonna try the same strat again of just dodge and then get the stagger at halfway. That might be a crazy strat though. Cause then I have to fight him for longer. Can you relax? Crazy! <laughs> Stop doing that! Okay, Ornstein, okay, Ornstein. Okay, I think if I start attacking now, I might get a nice stagger. Time. to be working. That was greed. That was straight up greed. That was an incredible time for me. Wow. I really like another heal though. I had more health. 
unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, I'm incredible at pairing the first half of that. That's what I've been saying. I just need to learn how to dodge the second half and it's fine. Uh, I can, I can dodge, I can, I can parry the first half. I can do that. Um, I just need to figure out the second half. There, I mean, I just fucked up and I didn't have any health, it's fine. Dude, okay, so I have my Discord open because I have to have it open now because it doesn't fucking work. And I actually have it open to another Crab's Treasure Moist Critical uh, speedrun channel announcements just because that was the first thing that opened. Um, just for no reason, like, it doesn't matter. And someone's typing in it right now. <laughs> I'm so distracted. Honestly, that was just really good RNG. That's not gonna happen again, man. I was just feeling a little sus though, and just was like, oh, fuck y'all, Fable Art. Run away, dodge the second, and parry the last. I can't parry the last combo. I don't know. I can sometimes, but I don't think I can now. We'll see. Ah, uh, nice, Devlet. What was your main build? What was the main uh, gods? Like, it just sucks. I think I could learn that parry, to parry that full move if, like, I saw it more or, like, had a practice tool for it, but obviously that doesn't work like that. Well, I didn't, like, know that someone's gonna be making a whole ass announcement in this moist critical speed run. Like, this is why I don't have it open explicitly. I make an effort to not open it to, like, you know, a general channel or something like that where people talk a lot. Well, announcements don't happen that often. I don't know. It's so weird. I'm looking for a guy in finance. Trust fine. It's awkward when you're in an episode. Yeah, and they're and they're typing. thing I did with this and that's all it is. Frick off! Where's my fucking amulet now, dude? Can you like actually work sometimes? Do it well, dude. That's how she does it. I'm um, looking for a man and fine not. I really didn't need to hit twice there. I also don't know the order of the words. Okay. Never mind. I'm looking for a man in fine nuts. Trust fine. Six five. Blue eyes. So good. Dionysus attack won you with fast and larger charge attack. Karen boons for attack and dash. Karen boons? Karen can give you boons? Is that a spoiler? Karen? That's literally spoiler, dude. You used four death defiances? Yeah, relatable. Yeah, no Pjorgen. Oh, chaos, okay. Did, was your Guan Yu upgraded? You've used eight DDs? How do you use eight? How do you even have eight? I'd love to have eight. This is a woman run, yes. Yes, right? <laughs> Ball one, three, no, no, I know, but not at the, not at the same time, right? You never had like eight slots available. Um, looking for a man in finance, just fine. Six five, blue eyes. 
Did I experience all the bosses? Um, I don't know. Apparently Persephone gives you boons. That's one spoiler that I know of. I mean, I mean... He, wait, what? Wait, I don't know. Not boons. Wait, maybe boons? I don't know. Maybe. Probably doesn't. It's probably a keepsake that someone said. There is a DLC being worked for on this, yeah. Everything feels like it's your fault. Do you have that feeling in Elden Ring? Uh, I had that feeling in Elden Ring. Wait, you mean like in the story or in like the fighting? About damn time, I get a stagger. You mean the deaths? Yeah, like a skill issue, right? I feel that about most of the Souls games, other than like cheese stupid bosses. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, Ebola. That's cool. Oh, dude. I need that amulet to do something. It's just taking up space. Like, when it works, it's awesome. But it definitely doesn't usually work. I think the fact that lore in this game is better. Oh my god, the announcement has been sent. I have to look after this. Yeah, I'm talking more about the storytelling. I think I'm using the wrong words. A rule change. What? <gasps> no deloading? Wait, there's a Voltide deloading strat? What the hell? How did I not find that? They're banning the Voltide deload strat, which I didn't even know that was possible. I wish I found that out myself. <laughs> Yeah, well, they said it's because um, people on the Game Pass and then some other people on Game Pass and Steam are unable to hit the deload skip consistently due to hardware limitations or something. I do think it's weird uh, allowing things just for uh, specific um, hardware. Like, I do think that sucks on speedruns. However, um, can you even lock it to 60 FPS on Xbox? Because you you basically have to lock it to 60 FPS for uh, the charge attack launches. Actually, on the new patch you can. I don't know if that's the one we're using though. Consoles automatically lock to 60. I think, honestly, maybe this one. No, I think, Jason, it's going to be Nameless Puppet. It's going to be Nameless Puppet for sure. I think Brotherhood, I have a strat for, which, I, I mean, maybe it'll be harder than I think. I don't know, but I do have a strat for them. And I also have a strat for Simon Manus. If I didn't have a strat for either of those, I think it'd be much worse. They're both, like, really slow, slow, slow patient strats. How is this SL1 compared to the other? This one is more fun because I like the game more. I mean, it's just as hard, though, personally. But yeah, I mean, I'm less frustrated, I think. Hi, Katora, and hi, Sniper John. Thank you for the uh, for the five months up, dude. Eulogy, thanks for gifting a Hillary Duff nine minutes ago, by the way. <laughs> thanks, man.
It's hard. It's just like so dependent on RNG for some things. Unless I have a better strat, which I don't. Maybe I should go get that coil stick. This fight, you think? I think Swamp Monster. I have a I have faith that Alexia will be fine. But I don't know. I said that about Romeo as well. It, I was stuck on Romeo all of today and then like an hour or two yesterday. Yeah, this this phase requires like positioning and stuff, which kind of sucks. But phase two is just like pure dodging to the left and just some timing. What took you less time, Seb? I don't remember if Romeo or Swan Monster took me less time. Swamp took you less time, yeah. I think Swamp took me less time too, but just not by that much. I don't think I ever used the rapier on Swamp. Either. If I were to Dark Souls 3 uh, level 1, that would be so hard. Okay, I mean, I was pressing it, you could hear it. I don't know why he wasn't getting up. Whatever, dude. This is about halfway through the game, Master Links. But it is one of the harder ones, so... I think that I'll probably fly through until Swamp Monster. I think Victor will be fine. And if parrying Victor doesn't end up working, I can just dodge him. But I think parrying would be fine. And he's not that... Like, he doesn't have that much health. I think Victor will be okay. I think Swamp Monster will take some time. Um... I don't know. Well, Raid, those are not soul level 1 runs. <laughs> Obviously, you don't count challenges in that list. Yeah, Victor, I heard Victor dodging is really, really easy, but man, parrying Victor is so fun. But at the same time, parrying Romeo is so fun, but it's hard on Soul Level 1. Yeah, Swamp Monster has so much health and he's just got so much bullshit. You don't think I'll be able to what? It's a big combo to what? To parry? Those combos are easy and they're all have, like the same rhythm. That's why I think I could do it. Like, he doesn't have that much variety. You'll run out of stam. Oh shit. Does that, is that relevant? I don't think it's relevant in his combo. It's shorter. It's shorter than Romeo's. Yeah, Laxacia phase two. I think Laxacia phase one would be super, super easy. The phase two might be a little rough, especially with like chip damage from lightning. You, it doesn't reduce Romeo's combo if you break the open. No, 
doesn't. Might make it do less damage. I don't know if that's true though. No, it doesn't reduce it. It's still the same. And actually it's harder to to parry in my opinion because it, you, don't, you don't see what he's doing because it's just a little nub. It doesn't. What part of it gets reduced? I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. Hey Poetry, thank you for raiding, man. Thank you, thank you, welcome guys. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons, nice man. Welcome, welcome chat. Um, yeah, I guess I can try and break his weapon. I don't know how long it'll take with this weapon. It'll probably take way too long. It's reduced in spirit, yeah, right? Thanks, Poetry. I think we had this idea and then proof- No, what I thought and what people thought was that if you break his weapon, he doesn't do the combo at all. And he doesn't. He still does it, I mean. This is no level, no upgrade, no- No, it is a weapon upgrade. The only thing you can upgrade is your weapon in this run. Um, no Fable art. Well, Fable art, I don't know. Sometimes, yeah. It doesn't matter the people are. In, I'm not using my arm, and I'm not using consumables, and I'm not using the organ. But like, I, I don't know. If you want to do your run with those things, I think it's fine. I just, I just don't see a need to. I mean, consumables will make it easier, but like, I don't know. I think a lot of it is just like you need the skill. Okay, bro. Same move three times. Great. Same rule set, yeah, that's fair. Someone too tried on their casual playthrough without the fire combo, damn. Lucky, maybe they had a powerful weapon. I know, I hate using light weapons because of the uh, the breaking weapons, it's so it takes forever. But maybe it is worth doing. I don't know. It's... Find a find a link or something, West. Because what move does he take out to make it shorter? He doesn't. Like I'm I'm like pretty sure he does the whole thing. Why would they just like take out a move? By burst, by timer. Or if they did make it shorter, it's not very obviously shorter. Because I would have noticed. Carlos. Smaller weapons have bigger parry numbers. Yeah, that's not true. Why would that be true? I don't think... I don't think anything changes parry numbers. Parry numbers are always the same. It just... The only thing that changes is how much damage you do to the boss weapon. Better guard reading reduction, or whatever the hell that pre thing is. <laughs> Still don't really know what that means. Dude, Fextra Life is so lying. I don't know why. Like, you know when teachers are like, guys, don't use Wikipedia, anyone can alter things on there. That's like Fextra Life. Like, what people that just like go on the internet and lie? I've never heard that before in my life. Yeah, I take everything Fextra says with a grain of salt for real. Oh, Fextra is only editable by certain people? That's even worse. Why are they just like wrong about everything? They embedded a hit. I mean, it wasn't very hidden. Okay, rip. Oh my god, never mind. Okay, never mind again. That was insane. And it sucks not getting this, the, uh, repose because his, like, 
guard rigging reduction or whatever the hell that stuff is called is there. hitting for a bit. I'll try to stay far, far, far. Oh, it's runs. Oh, I hate this move! Stop doing that! I think the best run was when I did this strat, unfortunately. And if you missed what the strat is, the strat is, uh not building up his stagger meter at all in phase one so that when it gets halfway the charge meter the stagger meter goes up and then i could charge attack him out of his fire move I don't understand that move. I don't know when to dodge that. It's so weird. gonna stagger now. I don't want that now. What the hell? Why did he... Why did he... Why did he do that? Is that an AI break or something? <laughs> what? No, I accidentally pressed block there. I'm really glad that that didn't fucking work. I need a stagger now. Okay, I really need a stagger now. Awesome plan, that's fucking sick plan. Let's fucking go, dude, that's huge. Okay, hopefully he doesn't do the fire move now. Which he might, but hopefully he doesn't. That's fine, I'll take it. Oh. Darn it. I just got nervous. I should have dodged that. I just got nervous at the end there. It's fine. Well, we're getting closer and closer, chat. I can tank the last one if I have full HP, yeah. So it looks like my plan is actually wrong about that charge attack thing. It looks like the charge attack thing is just RNG. Does it feel like that for you guys as well? Because I really think it just is RNG if he's going to do it or not. Great. Can we talk about the parry? The parry's not bad, huh? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. No, I think it is RNG mini. I think it, I think it is. Because sometimes he just doesn't do the fire move after it's done as he does. 
Yeah, good luck, poetry. Yeah, the fall is whatever, okay. Take a short break. Uh, I'll take a break at the next ad. So guys, do we have any suggestions on how I can alter phase two plan? Because like, yeah, I mean, my plan's not that good. I think I'm gonna stop this plan because I thought it was foolproof and it's not foolproof and it just makes the fight last longer. Maybe I'll go back to the strat of just fable arting, just guessing that he's gonna do the fire move. That seemed like a good plan. It was the one time where he didn't do it and we didn't see him in the animation when you stunned him. Yeah, well, yeah, that happened and I'm pretty sure why that happened is because he just happened to be setting up for the fire move and I just hit him before he could actually pull it off or like before he could actually start it. But that's just RNG, like that's just like, I do it at a time where he would normally do it and just hope that it was the right move. I don't know how else I can alter that. You can shop with him if you're using consumables, yeah. And no core, this is not my favorite game, but I do really like it. But this is a lot of fun for me. Like, like look at the difference of this versus like fighting Orphan of Cost. Now I know Orphan of Cost was 24 hours, but like, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. And I don't hear screaming the whole time. I just think Liza P, I just love. Liza P has a very, very special place in my heart. Uh, Spinny, thank you for the prime song. Puppet string stagger? Oh, no way in hell, dude. Maybe if it was upgraded. I don't know. The shock baton? I know, people have mentioned that a few times, but I think I'm in too deep with the rapier now to switch. Like, I'm pretty close to getting Romeo. I just need enough attempts to get the RNG that I need, you know? But you're right, it probably would make that fight way better. So, Poetry, I asked you last time, but I didn't see your reply, if you did reply. Is this your SL1 on your first playthrough, or have you fought Romeo regularly before? Because all your other SL1s were on your first playthroughs, right? Oh, that was so fucking greedy. Why did I do that? I should not ever do that. I just hit him a few times and just felt high from the fact that I could actually hit him. Well, poetry, I mean, you've done harder, I think, in my opinion. Did it, wait, weren't the rest of them blind or was that someone else? I thought, I thought like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't your Bloodborne blind. I remember you saying that was your first time playing Ludwig. Because Ludwig was easier for me because I had already gone through the first whole playthrough. That was you, wasn't it? Am I confusing people? Oh, I am! You know what I am? I'm pretty sure that was Porge. I think it's the P that's confusing me. Was that Porge? I don't know. It was a P name. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, eh? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was for Sorry, Fortree. You're right. So what soul level once have you done, dude? No, not all the chatters look the same. Just, I don't know. A lot of people say a lot of things and it just, I don't know. You know what, this might actually work out for me if we haven't gotten a stagger meter yet. Yeah, well, no. Well, yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get him down a little lower and then I'm gonna do the Fabler. I have no idea what just happened. Sekiro with no AP upper. That's valid. That's pretty impressive. 
I've done other crazy runs. I did a Sekiro run with every enemy being a full strength, not scaled, Owl Father, Charmless and Evil. Nice. I haven't even done that. If I did the charge, he would have gotten grogged. But I don't think that's true, Wajas. Maybe it is. Maybe it is true. I don't know. But the reason why I don't think that's true is because I think a full Fable Art is stronger than a charge attack. And I think if it was almost about to be Grog, I think a Fable Art should have staggered him. Is that wrong? Like, feel free to correct me if you know what you're saying is correct for a fact. Because I actually don't know for a fact. That's just what I've noticed. Lost count at 25 plus to pull up. Me. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hell yeah, Poetry. Damn. If I did heavy after the Fable Art, yeah, but I couldn't have. I mean, actually, I could have because he staggered. I just, I got confused. I was like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> you're right, you're right, yeah. I don't understand how, like, those baby staggers work where they, like, hold their heads. And they're like, ah, oh, shit. What just happened? Like, same with Ogre and Sekiro. Ogre and Sekiro has a baby stagger like that, too. And I don't know what, how many hits you need for it. I don't really know how that works at all. I don't expect it though. If you expect it, it kind of fucks you up, I think. Guys, last night I made a HelloFresh meal and I picked out all my HelloFresh meals. I always pick them out. Um, but yesterday I picked one out, okay? I picked this meal. It was like a Middle Eastern, like, vulgar wheat salad or something. I don't know. And. There, I eat a lot of things, okay? I eat a lot of vegetables. I eat mostly everything, okay? I, I'm a very non-picky eater, okay? Let's make that clear. There is one thing that I hate, and I don't know wh why. I don't know what meal traumatized this as a kid for me, but it's eggplant. I hate eggplant. I don't like eggplant. I will never cook with eggplant. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It just ruins every meal. And so, like, eggplant is basically my number one thing that I just dislike as a vegetable. Most vegetables I love, though. I I don't mind fried eggplant, but that's about it. So, I was really excited for this Middle Eastern whatever the hell it was. I was really excited, and I go into my HelloFresh bag, and I fucking pull out an eggplant. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't test my recipe if it had eggplant in it, because I didn't think HelloFresh would be disgusting enough to put eggplant in things. And so I was like, whatever, let me just be an adult and I'll just make it, like, whatever. Like, it's still good for you, I'll just eat it. And so, basically, they were like, okay, well, for the four people recipe, use the entire eggplant. For the two people recipe, use half the eggplant. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna throw out half an eggplant. That's horrible. So I just used most of it. And I was like, whatever, hopefully it'll be good in the end. And I used it, and bro, it was, like, so nasty. I'm, like, disgusting. I ate my entire meal, though, except for some eggplant left over that had nothing else. It was just eggplant on its own, no thanks. And Eggy ate my eggplants. Eggy's a pretty picky eater, or at least he used to be, and he ate the damn eggplant. I can't believe it. Throw out the whole eggplant. You know what, maybe you're right, dude. Yeah, and I even had double freaking eggplant than necessary. <laughs> Unfollowed from the guy from the Middle East. Yeah, I'm not an eggplant girl. I dislike eating stuff where it has two different consistencies, like jelly inside butter. Um, that makes sense, yeah. I don't know, eggplant, like, I like it when it's fried and kind of crispy, but I just don't like that it's like squishy gooey. And there are squishy gooey things that I don't mind, you know, like tomatoes, for example. But eggplant is just worse. Eggplant needs to just be canceled forever, man. Is HelloFresh as good as most creators make it out to be? Master Links. I'm gonna say this too, completely unsponsored. And I actually saw someone on TikTok, like a regular person, like not a huge influencer or anything, just make a video saying like, things that influencers will never convince me to buy. And one of them was HelloFresh and they were like, no, fuck HelloFresh. I can go to the store on my own. I can make my own recipes. And I was like, okay, valid, okay, valid, okay, valid. But like, do it then, you know? That's what I said. I, I had a phase where I was ordering HelloFresh a lot and I was like, okay, well, 
Let me stop. It's time to grow up. Okay, let me make my own recipes. I'll do it. Sure. For a few weeks, I did that. And bro, do you know how much time and effort and planning it takes to uh, do that? Do you know? And then you're just like, well, fuck this. I don't. I can't do this right now. I'm busy. So let's just order out. So it's like, yeah, if you're gonna go to the store and make recipes and all that, that is better than HelloFresh. Do it. But but actually do it though, then do it. <laughs> Cause personally for me in this moment in my life, I'm not doing that. And I'm actually spending more money than everything take eating takeout. And it's obviously not even good for you. So for me, HelloFresh, like literally say what you want. Like I actually sound like I'm sponsored, but HelloFresh has unironically changed my life. At least my diet. My diet and my health right now. It's so fucking useful. Like the goal is eventually to stop using it and so that I can just cook my own shit and whatever, that's my goal. But like right now in my life right now, I, uh, I'm not doing that. You're not a fan of the shopping part, but you love cooking poetry. Yeah, and making like, dude, for those few weeks where I was trying to uh, make recipes, yeah, so yeah, just take their recipes and go buy that stuff from the store. Dude, that shit, listen, I, dude, it, you know how expensive that is? That ends up being way, way, way more expensive than just buying HelloFresh. Cause I did that for a little bit. Yeah, I did, I did. But let me tell you guys something. I think from what I understand, okay? From what I understand, especially when you have a family, the proper way to do this, to do grocery and to do blah, 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 is to plan your entire week and buy shit that works together. Like when I, when I took a break from HelloFresh and tried to do my own things, I would like, oh, let's have salmon this day and let's have potato this day and let's have, you know, whatever else this day and let's have whatever else this day. And that shit is so expensive. What you have to do is buy one massive bag of potato or rice, one massive bag of carrots, and like a huge amount of chicken or something and have the exact same thing the entire week. That's how you do it to save money. And I didn't know that. So the way I was doing the whole, yeah, just take the HelloFresh recipes and go buy it yourself. Yeah, that cost me like double or three times what HelloFresh cost me, at least in Ontario. So I'm like, fuck that. In this moment in time, I'm not, I don't, I just don't have the energy or time right now to think about how to plan, plan recipe for the entire week and all that. I've been debating like going to like a nutritionist for a little bit, just cause I have kind of fucked up like stomach issues and whatever else and blah, 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 whatever. Just like to teach me how to eat properly, but I can't do that right now. I have other things going on. So for now, HelloFresh is my savior. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. I'm obsessed, I love it. HelloFresh is literally like, don't think, just me. They give you the recipe, they give you everything you need. It's fantastic. So. That being said, if you're in the same position as me, I absolutely encourage HelloFresh, not sponsored, but if they ever offer me a sponsor, I always take it because fuck yeah, dude. The nutritionist taught me to do your homework and track your shit. Dude, my sister's going to a nutritionist right now and she's really, really good. She does an awesome job. It looks IBS friendly. I mean, it's, I, like they've got a lot of variety. Dude, some people have told me like, oh, I hate HelloFresh, I hate eating carrots and and chicken every day. Like, dude, I haven't had a carrots and chicken recipe for years from HelloFresh. Like, they actually have, if you, okay, sorry, plug. I, um, if you look at my Instagram stories, I usually post my HelloFresh recipes. They're always different. Sure, Seb, yeah, that makes sense. My, uh, my facial lady told me recently to track my food, to track what's giving me skin issues. Yeah, you pick your own recipes, but they have a nice variety. Maybe it's just Canada that has a nice variety and other places don't. I don't know, but I can't really imagine prioritizing Canada. People need to track their food if they don't. Oh my God, fuck off. And we scratch our butt. <sighs> Hi Zap, what's up? What's up queen? How does it work for people who live alone? Yeah, the lowest option is two person serving, but Depending on how much you eat, honestly, two person serving can work for one person, but also you can just meal prep. For a while I was buying for four people for me and Aggie and I was meal prepping and we just eat it the next day. Honestly, that's a pretty good idea, but um, I stopped doing that just cause I didn't like cooking for four at once. It was a lot. Um, Atsuya, thank you for the brand new organic sub. Thank you. 
Yeah, it could be a reaction to my makeup, but um, it's not. I, 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 there was a makeup product that was fucking me up, but I got rid of that already. A new product. My, I think it's, I think it's food. I don't know. Hi, Stinky. Also, it is raining outside. It's so nice. Anyway, yeah, I'm a huge HelloFresh enjoyer. And yeah, I don't know how much food costs where you guys live, but where I live, food is damn expensive. So I save money on HelloFresh, but like, I'm sure if you're a really savvy shopper, you would not save money on HelloFresh. I don't know. I think if you're like a meal prepper, don't HelloFresh, obviously. But I'm still new to cooking. Like I just barely moved out of my damn parents' house, man. Yeah, Toronto. Yeah, I'm near Toronto. Dude, it's like you need to get a loan out to get groceries, man. Good night, Minnie. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I lived with my parents in college for a bit. I moved out for a bit to like a student dorm. And I, I was cooking. I, okay, this is kind of stupid. I had eggs every single day in college. I had eggs every single day and what I would do is I'd cut tomato, I'd take like turkey sandwich salami and I'd stack, I'd stack a tomato, a turkey and an egg and I had two of those every single day. And man, does it get old. Yeah, 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 whatever. I mean, even when I live with my parents, I'd make my own food sometimes. Um, I just had a lot of like avocado toast and eggs and whatever. Eggs are like life hack, dude, okay? I studied business and languages. When I was the lad, I ate four dozen eggs every na 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 ba -ba -da 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 -da. Avocado toast is millennial? What does that even mean? How is the avocado toast possible to be uh, millennial? Raining so hard. What just happened? You step on the cat. <laughs> Oscar. Bullshit, but whatever. Can I finish him off? Oh, yeah, I can. You're a picky eater, Zab? Yikes. as well. I should be less greedy. <laughs> How did I miss? Dude, too many staggers, no grog. Any grogs? Should I do it? I don't know. Maybe I fable art? Oh no. Not a good idea.
Yeah, you won't fire, it's not happening. I'm forced, that's fucking unlucky. It wasn't your fault, you just did some move that doesn't work with my strat. Aww. The cat. Get the squat. Aww. Scrow. Scar. She's being very lovey dovey, she wants attention. Aww, you should hang out with her. Can I hold her? Scrow, I thought you were being lovey dovey. Scrow. She always lets me hold her like a baby, right, Scrow? Yeah, Scar, come on. Scar, be nice. Scarla, be nice. Be nice. Oh, Got a 32.56. A 32? Isn't your record... What's your record? 31.05. Oh, on the new time? On the new patch. Hell yeah, nice work. How's Voltai? Um, it's fine, honestly. Really? Yeah. You just have to dodge more? No, we get the hook skill and just unplug her. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the grind. <laughs> She's like, don't leave me! Go ahead, Scar. Go ahead, little cat. She sprints out. Ads. Oh, I don't feel like taking a break. Maybe I should. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe later. <laughs> uh. I'm a little frustrated, chat. I am a little bit frustrated. Let him play. Alright, thank you. I don't know what to do, guys. Any suggestions for phase two? Maybe I should get the coil just to make it go faster, but like, I'm just so over guessing, dude. There's like no consistent strat for this. Maybe the consistent strat is just do nothing and just try and learn how to parry slash dodge the fire move. Good morning, Unmarit, what's up? Guys, Scarlet? Contrary to what you guys just saw, she has actually been so cuddly recently and it's like so cute. The other day, she'll, she never like actually sits near us or on our lap or anything, right? If she ever sits in the same room, it's gonna be like near our feet or like... No, I don't have stamina amulet. I don't think it matters though. Yeah, she's, she likes to sit like near us, not with us. And the other day I woke up and she and I went on the couch to play Cards and Castles and to drink coffee. And she sat right next to me on the blanket. It's so cute. No, she doesn't want to kill me. The next strat just get good. Yeah, actually though, and it's kind of cringe. New well, Seb, I have my old PC on my ground and she's not sitting on it. Why is the game so dark right now? Oh, it's because we we're in the corridor. Hi, Sorkrath. I'm Ith. How are you? Dude, at least I can do phase one, like, in my sleep now. Maybe she'll like the heat coming out. Maybe. But I'm putting it on my table. Sorry. I mean, she could maybe still sit on it if it's on the table. Yeah, Donald, I have. So the issue with that is that... If I start the Fable Art as he starts the fire move, the Fable Art takes too long, so it doesn't actually work, he just kills me. So the way to fix that problem is to start the Fable attack right before, like, like when you think he's about to start his buff, then to do it, that's the, that's the fix, right? But it's honestly way harder than you think to predict when he's gonna do it. There's been a few times where I was able to predict it, but, yeah, at that point, you're just hoping for the nice RNG. That was hitless, by the way. Wait, he didn't do the right move. That was weird. Stretch. 
Holy crap, do you guys hear the rain? It's really loud. Honors, thank you for the prime slot. I might get a nice time stagger actually. But as we've noticed, it doesn't really make him stop doing the fire attack. So I just do it? I don't know. Whatever, fuck it. My plans never actually work in this damn game. Now he's gonna do it. I'm so over it. <sighs> Try interrupt. Yeah, with what? Sorry, Covalent Bot. Ugh, sorry, man. You can't block. Poetry, get this. I'm pretty sure. No, just hit doesn't work, unfortunately. Just one more try. Well, I'll be doing many more tries. Poetry, I'm pretty sure that with the base stats, you literally cannot perfectly parry the entire move because you don't have enough stamina. Get that, get that. That might be why you're struggling. So what you have to do, so I have an amulet that gives you infinite dodges, but what you have to do is, uh, in my opinion, what you have to do, which is what I've been doing, is I parry the first half, which is the easy half, and then I try and dodge the second half. But like one little mistake just fucking destroys you, so. All I see is Covalent View, commercial break. Aww, rip <laughs> rad. Dodging fire to front left doesn't work. I don't know, I never tried that. Right side roll, does that work? I don't know. So I'm pretty sure the reason why I died at the last attempt, by the way, is because, uh... I tried to run away from the combo just to see if that would maybe make this easier for me, but if I don't parry the first move, then I get out of rhythm and then I can't do any of it. So I need to just parry all the moves in the first half and then worry about the second half. So Graphic, what did you say about that last move? I should guard it and not dodge it and just tank the health? I'm kind of wondering if that's a better strat. I've had my first attempt ever seeing the fire move. I just do I just dodged back and it ended up working. But I think that's totally just like damn lucky. I'll survive if I have more than a third and I guard. Only the final move. You know what I think the issue is is that he stamina breaks me and then I can't even guard. You're in okay. Thanks for priming. <laughs> The Fable Art interrupts it only if you pull off the entire Fable Art. Um, okay, let me say this one more time because I think people keep missing it. The thing with the Fable Art is I think... I think you can interrupt it, yes, if you pull off the entire Fable Art, but the issue with the Fable Art, at least on this weapon, is that it's too slow. So if you want to start right when you see him buffing, it's already too late. You have to start the Fable Art move before he even starts buffing. So you have to just guess that he's gonna do it. But obviously if you just guess that he's gonna do it and he does some other shitty move, you're just gonna die. So that's where the issue comes in that. Take the last move without guard. Okay, does, does dodging matter in that at all? Like, should I still try and dodge it? Take notes, right? Try early Fatal into running as far as possible. I, I really don't think running as far as possible is going to save me. I think he's still going to do the bad moves. If running as far as possible made him stop the second half and only do the first half, I'd do it. But he literally does the only part of the combo that, well, the, usually the one that kills me. Scar! She's meowing. I feel so sad. She wants so much attention. <laughs> Shouldn't hurt you more, okay. I'm like Bloodborne.
What if I just spam dodge rolls at the end? Surely I just have infinite iframes, right? Is that crazy? I think I'm gonna try that. Cause I cause I have the amulet that gives me infinite dodge. I mean it's not infinite dodge, but it's like dodge without stamina. At this point, maybe it's worth. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit to get his charge for phase two. Because phase two is just worse altogether. Yeah, no, this the final boss is definitely way harder than this guy. But this is like it's not like it's just gonna get worse from here, like this is kind of like a spike in difficulty in my opinion. I don't think it'll be perfectly easy from here, but I like I'll definitely not take two hours on every or however many it's been like six. <laughs> Romeo's a notorious boss. It's like half game. It's like a Redon kind of situation. That didn't even give me the baby stagger. What the fuck? It's always the final move. Ah, uh, should I watch a video of it or something? Like it's literally always the final move. It's like fucking weird. Damn it. It's weird. The MILF man, thank you for the 13 month organic sub. Do I have enough HP to block it? I think so. I think the one too many, yeah, I did. Uh He mar yeah, it's always that delay. He like he like baits it. He like switches his thingy around. It is safe to dodge the final move if you can, if you know the timing. If I had stamina, I could I didn't have stamina. I'm pretty sure I can- can I block? I think I can block as long as I- as long as- well, actually, I have no idea. I think I can block, but he'll just stagger me out of it. No, this boss is, like, notoriously difficult for everyone. Like, struggling on Romeo on RL1 for me doesn't feel very problematic. If I had struggled on, like, Archbishop as well, then I'd be a little worried. Maybe I should try just blocking at the end. Yeah, graphic, I was, I know. I it pisses me off actually, it's very frustrating. Do you have an idea of what I can do? To help that or to like use it to my benefit like should I fable art later no you know why that's happening cuz I'm parrying him like 
Oh god, I don't know. Yeah, I wish we could just talk to him, to be honest. Can I fable art at the beginning and get it back before midway? Um, I don't think so. Like, maybe I could try, though. I don't... Maybe that would give me a better charge timing? I have social anxiety. I'd rather kill him. I don't know. Like, what I want in a perfect world is to... You know what, actually? I have, I have an idea. I'm gonna try something new. What I'm gonna try is to not stagger him at all in phase one in like the first half if i see the bar i'm gonna ignore it and i'm gonna wait for him to do the fire move and i'm not gonna fable arts him i'm gonna charge attack him and i feel like that might work maybe depending on when i got the grog i think that might stagger him if it doesn't do geez, at least we tried because i think my charge attack is faster than my fable art is so i think it, it would stagger him and it would finish the whole move I don't need throwable. Throwable is super uh, cheesy in this game. I just don't love it. I don't think it's fun. Even a couple normal heavies and a normal stagger. Yeah, it depends on how it lines up, right? You mean a normal heavy like a tap or two? Yeah, shot put my beloved real. Shot put is so good. Shot put carried my Simon Manus fight on my casual playthrough. That's like the only consumable I really used. Or at least use a lot. Like went out of my way to get. <laughs> Do you guys remember the other day we were talking about like when you don't look at something directly but you just look at it from like your peripheral vision and you can see it better? I feel that about the, the robot words in this game as well. Like if you're directly looking at it, you don't know what it says, but if you're like barely looking at it, you can read it. Do I think Loxacia will be a bigger problem? I don't know, honestly. I have no idea. Loxacia got nerfed pretty badly, so I don't know. I don't really struggle on her on a casual playthrough anymore. I don't know, we'll see. Untranslated Korean. Yeah, I thought it was also not English. Wasn't that what spawned the comment? No, I don't think so. Was it? I don't think so. Now I gotta keep up the stagger meter. wasn't even the right move. Really? He didn't do it? Now he's gonna fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, I will block the final move. Or not. Okay. 
fuck off, dude. Actually, fuck off, man. Like, this is actually a mind game at this point, dude. Why didn't he do the fire move at all? And I know for a fact I didn't cancel them because I saw what move he was doing. Oh my god, it's cringe. Last time someone knocked on a door late and it was a woman looking for a lost cat. That's pretty sad. Did you find the cat? Man, that's so heartbreaking. Dude, it's so fast and you have to perfect parry and the timing is already kind of hard. Like, fuck, man. Ugh, I'm cringe, but I am free. No, it's not about my focus, dude. You know why the shit gets weird there? Because it's actually annoying. That I'm just like anticipating the fire move. That's what that is. It's like cringe. Why didn't he do it? Why can't I dodge? You can't dodge red moves if you're close. Thoughts on McDonald's? It's a pretty shit company. Decent food if you're craving it. Like, dude, at that point, what? I just have to fucking run away from him at all times? Like, that's a- Ugh, it's annoying. I genuinely don't have a plan. The plan is hope for the best. Like, what am I supposed to do? I guess I can try anticipating that move as well, but I don't know. Uh, I've actually gotten a potential McDonald's sponsor. Uh, I won't go into any more detail, but it did end up working out. I've seen some fast food sponsors. I think they're fun, actually. I'm just upset because I don't- it's not like I'm doing things wrong, it's like... At this point, the strat literally feels like parry perfectly. Like, is that really the strat here? Thank you, Mike. He should be doing the fire move here somewhere. Okay, he went sideways, sorry. All right, so the charge strat doesn't work. The charge strat does not work, unfortunately. So, okay, so let's talk about what the strat is. The strat is fucking play well. That's literally the strat. The strat is literally perfect parry that fucking combo and then 
whatever, and then dodge the end, like, which I can't do. <sighs> Honestly, though, at least now I know. At least now I know that it's time to just do that. <laughs> and, and I'm done trying to plan things. That's the strat. You can use consumables, which I'm not doing. So yeah, the strat is stop trying to plan when you're fucking charge attacking because it doesn't matter. Right, guys? It doesn't matter. Literally, the only way to beat this guy is to just fucking beat him. With skill. I am a little bit debating trying to parry a little bit now that I've learned his moveset again. Just because maybe the fire move will damage me less with a broken weapon. What do we think about that strat? Maybe I'll give it like one parry attempt and if it's weird, I, uh, I'll quit. I do think dodging is like infinitely easier. Yeah, parrying is harder, but parrying might save that fucking move. Okay, GG's. I mean, breaking weapons with a light weapon is not really the vibe. Good night, Sebla. Thank you for hanging out, man. Why don't you run? You can't. Like, you literally can't. Unless you're maybe really lucky or something, I don't know. You know what? If you guys just watched that last attempt, there's something weird happened to the AI. I feel like if you know how to manipulate it, manipulate it like that, maybe you can run? Dodging and perfect do guarding. I don't know if you use the same amount of stamina, but I have this amulet that lets you dodge with no stamina C, which is obviously really useful. And I can't attack with no stamina C. So. Dropping into issue well, appreciate your break. Thank you, Russell. It's worth it to try and break if you haven't at all. Oh, man, breaking his weapon is gonna be so rough just because it's gonna take so many parries. Bye, poetry. Good luck, man. He didn't do the fire dance shit. Maybe hope I, it's not gonna happen. Like, he's gonna do it with my damage. Yeah, I can fable attack. It doesn't save the run, though. Good night, L K is the owl. Good night, dude. It's just insane that I can't find a consistent strat for him. Like it really is just learn and get good, isn't it? Hi Stanky, what's up? Morning, Stephen. I mean, good night, Stephen. Hi. Fable Perry blocks everything on that weapon. Oh, sorry, what? Wait, what did you just say? What is a Fable Perry? The Fable Perry can block everything. Okay, how did that hit me? I tried to... Yeah, guys, this, I did something like that um, on my deathless runs. LBY? Is that a buff? Or is that just like a one-time thing? I don't think I can time that if it's a one-time like carry. The regain, I don't think it's super useless, but yeah, like it, it is like a little bit not awesome until you have ports upgrades, I agree. Dude, at this point, he looks like those spins are so goofy. 
At this point, I can use the double dragon. Um, I can. It's still not gonna save the run. I don't think the weapon is really the issue here. I mean, I can't use it because I, uh... Doesn't the swamp monster actually drop that? Who drops that? <coughs> I used all my amulets, all my boss ergo. Argo? LOL. Why did I say that? I was hoping I'd kill him. Unfortunately. Yeah, at this point you don't get the uh, the double dragon. But yeah, I mean, it's it's not like... It, there's no strats anymore. I guess more damage would be great, but like... It doesn't matter. If you get him to 40-50 and then fatal him, it's almost guaranteed he'll start combo once again. I'm curious if you run as far as possible, then dodge the last attack. Enough stamina to block. Well, that's not really the issue. I can dodge and block, even if I don't run away all the way. It's just hard to time. So you guys are saying the LBY? Oh, I, I pressed LB. I don't really know why that did that. <laughs> what does that do other than like, par like, is it just a regular parry? It's a counter. I don't think it's worth it. Like why, why, why do we suggest that I use that? Counter interrupt every attack? Really? But that's still not gonna help me with the fire move. Unless you guys are saying I parry one of the fire move thingies. One of the fire move move. And then a counter with during his combo. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I can rely on that because I just pressed LBY and it just it didn't read the LB, it only read the Y. I don't know if I can rely on it. I'm a little stressed out. I honestly think I'm better off parrying the first half of this combo and then dodging the moves that I know how to dodge, hope it works out, and then guard the final move and just take the damage. If it's true that that does not fully kill me. King Sin, thank you for your gifted sub. Dude. Someone fully parried it on base? or on upgraded level. Yeah, I've also full parried the combo, just not on level one. be in this or a souls game without upgrading weapon or leveling up no no one has ever done that for sure uh stun him when you can and counter with fable counter with fable like with the lby i don't think i'm gonna lby if that's a parry i don't think i like it's it's stressful i don't know mm -hmm. 
I thought it was gonna hit me. You hope I don't beat this tonight? <laughs> That's so sweet, thank you. Oh god! What time is it? It's almost midnight! Oh, damn. I'm not gonna do this tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. That sucks. I honestly think you just need enough runs through until you get the nice RNG and that's it. try and lock in. I feel like we're close. Maybe on my next uh, bathroom break I'll look up the video here. Just so I can see the timing of the final one. Winning is dependent on RNG because um, it just is. Like, I mean, I guess unless I was like a hundred percent proficient at the fight, I guess then it wouldn't matter. <laughs> but a lot of times I'll try and do something and then he'll hit me out of it or like. He'll do the fire move when it's problematic for me. Because it seems that even if I could parry the entire fire move, uh, it doesn't matter. I run out of stamina. So I need to find out a new strat or like just learn to tank it or something. And he also needs to stop doing that one move. Like, he keeps doing this fucking red kick that is so hard to parry right when I'm standing next to him. And like, yeah, I'll try and parry that, but I mean, it's a little bit hard. Though, a lot of this is a lot easier because of the fact that you can reload your health. Like, if I couldn't reload my health, this would be way worse. You staggered him? Uh, how? You staggered him, like, when he was buffing? How did you do that? I think it's RNG, because I tried so many different ways of staggering him out of it. And it just, like, only works sometimes, and I fucking- it's annoying. It was luck, yeah. I just think you need a proper run. Like, I think you need everything to line up, and then... What did you do? Did you use the, fa the Fable Art or the Charge Attack? And, and did you just guess? Or did you do it when he started buffing? No, I can't stagger with my Y attack. Did it when he started buffing? Did you have the rapier? Like, it's weird. You need a combination of the stagger meter to be at the perfect amount. And a, a fable that doesn't take too long. Whatever. 
happen when it happens. What if I fable right now? Up. I'm fucking pissed. Can someone clip it? I honestly would do it myself, but I, the clip button is not there. I literally don't understand how to clip. Is it because I'm on a vertical monitor? No, it's not there. I literally don't understand where the clip button is. <laughs> this happens every time I go to make a damn clip. Ugh. Fucking frustrating. It's the final, it's the final hit, dude. It gets me. He like raises his weapon and then like turns it and then hits you? Is that what it is? The second Thank you, Sib. The second to last move is delayed, and the last one is even more delayed. They are strange, and it almost feels like some of them are an accident. But I don't think they are. I think that's just copium, but it almost feels like it's a little too jank. But I think as soon as I can figure that out, I think it's GG's, because that's kind of the only thing that's getting me now. I mean, there that got me because I got hit and, you know, had no health left, unfortunately. <laughs> if this fucking amulet would ever work and give me spare heals. Like, when it comes in clutch, it's really useful, so I don't want to take it off, but man, it's annoying. I'm just gonna start running from that move. Like, it's useful, I guess, if you can get hits on it, but I don't think it's worth it. Thank you, Benj. Thanks, man. Benj of soap. Maybe I should try and fable again when he buffs. Like, maybe I was just too slow one time and maybe this time it'll work. I, I don't really think so, though, but maybe. What do you guys think? I do think the fable's too long, though. I did successfully survive it. What did I- how did I survive that? Did I block or was it a dodge? I think I- I, I meant to dodge, but maybe I blocked it. I would be nowhere without that boss amulet, I'll be honest. It was a dodge and a block. I got swiped during dodge, so I was not guarding. Okay, well then if I have full health, then it's usually worth it to, to just dodge in case it works out. No heals and no health on my weapon. Ripperoni. I wonder how I can alter his AI to not do it, because sometimes he just doesn't fucking do it. Do you guys think I should try and fable when he starts to buff, or should I just try to parry dodge again? I should have healed there. Try and fable, is he gonna do it now? 
Yeah, I knew I went too early. <sighs> Same position as last time now. to heal and I need to heal my weapon. <laughs> I'll just pray he doesn't do it again. Fuck you, man. Ah! No, I pressed charge. I pressed charge attack. Imperator on screen. I swear on my life, I was holding the charge attack. It just ate it for whatever reason. And he, dude, dude, I am lost for words right now. I deserved better. <laughs> I deserve better. I deserve better. I actually deserve better. Maybe it was the stamina. You're right. Maybe it was the stamina. I deserve better. I'm actually pissed. I, I deserve better. I think you should parry when you get close to 50 to get the white bar and then initiate phase two with hits. Wait, what? I think you should parry when you get close to 50% to get the white bar and then initiate phase two with hits. If you don't have the white bar. I don't understand, Seb. I don't understand. <sighs> I think the dodges put me in stamina debt. I'm not even joking. I think that might be how it works. So fucking weird that that's how it works. Man, I feel hopeful. Like, I feel hopeful, but like, I'm also a fucking mad. If he didn't do that dumbass kick move there, I think I would have had that. I'm gonna loan trick coming to break your knees, yeah. Stamina dead, what a concept, eh? I think I can be fine if I have heals. If I can have some more heals there, then I can make this work. For face room, if you don't have to stagger ready, parry until I get it, and then damage. <sighs> parry to get it ready, then damage to get him to face transition. Charge attack to interrupt. Oh, so you mean get the stagger meter glowing for when he starts buffing, and then charge to break him out of the buff? Yeah, I can try. If I can successfully parry, sure, yeah. I mean, maybe I can. In that case, I think it'd be good to just break his weapon. I can try and do a parry round, but I'll probably die. Actually, with four health, I'm, I will not do a parry round. I'm good at parrying Romeo, I don't know. Yeah, I am, but I don't know if I will be now. Okay, let's go. Oh. oh no, fuck that. 
I don't know, I just choke when it matters, I can't. Maybe if I practiced a bit more, maybe I could. Yeah, now the dodge is in my muscle memory. Ah! Oh my god, I haven't seen that in hours. Like, why does he randomly switch up the fucking code? From four heals to zero. Gunner, they give him less health. I didn't know the plan anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro, he didn't want to do it. Like, I don't know. Hmm, two hits, a heal, repost the game. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. The the repost, like, the, st the stagger lasts forever. No, that wasn't about ignoring chat. That was about I just didn't know if I should just charge attack him or if I should keep parrying or if I should keep attacking to keep the stagger meter up. I don't know. I don't know, man. I do think that strat is not bad, though. Dude, it's like the AI learns. I swear, it's fucking weird, man. It does feel nice to parry him, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking to try and just break his weapon to make the fire move easier to, uh, like, to tank. Does anyone know how much less damage he'll do to me? Because at the same time, it might be easier to tank, but it also uh, is harder to parry. Good night, Ty. Thanks for hanging out, man. Good mood booster, thank you, Ty. Yeah, that, was, that message feels trolly. I don't know. I'm not interested regardless. I don't care if it's a troll. That shit is cringe.
also need good RNG on the amulet healing my heal thing. Doing the double heals. If that lines up with the fire move nicely, I think this I could have this. Whoa. Okay, ballerina. I can't believe the stamina puts me in this amulet puts me in stamina dead. That's hilarious. Sorry, I, that was exciting. I just wanted to take that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that is super. Wow, you really get a lot of staggers, eh? Okay, can you relax, P? See, that's the thing with parrying. Like, missing a parry or two is just killer. And that's why I don't know if it's worth it. I think... <sighs> is it worth it? I think it would be worth it if I had a heavier weapon. Just for phase transition. Yeah, but like, it's kind of hard to get into the rhythm of it. That's kind of why I want to start from the beginning. Only parry close to 50, okay, sure. Unforge. So do you guys think I should... How do I do this? Like, how do I... Should I start parrying, like, above 50? Or should I get him down? Oh, I should do it above 50. I don't have enough stamina to parry his... His what? What's the one mid-transition move? The fire move? Yeah, I know. Um, that's what I'm trying to carry to block it. So you think I should parry to get white bar? And then, but then what? He's not gonna transition when the white bar happens. So do you think I should get the white bar at like 55? And then do some R1s and hope that he does the fire move and then charge attack? Is that what the plan is? Or do you think as soon as I get the stagger? Because if I get the stagger... Okay, yeah, that's a good plan. Because if I get the stagger and then I charge attack before he starts doing the fire move, it's not gonna matter. He's just gonna do it after. Which is maybe still okay, because then at least he'll do it once, probably. Not twice. It's actually crazy how fast the stagger meter comes up with the parry. I mean, there's been bosses longer. Uh, Orphan of Cost level 1 took me 24 hours, and um, Maria level 1 took me 12. Charged heavy into your fable. Maybe that's not a bad idea, actually. I just hope that he's gonna do it. Oh, shitty phase one. Oh my god, stop! More K, thank you for the five months up, dude. Thanks, man. No grinder, yeah. I don't, I mean, I'm not like super against it, but I just don't think I need it anymore. Dodge only runs sounds so boring. I fucking hate dodging. It's like, it's way more fun to parry. Unless you know how to dodge the move. I kind of do. I could, like I've done it now, but it's just like a little scary. I think if I, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, is the ad about the place up? I should take a bathroom break. Oh man, three minutes. You dodge only all of them, really? Yeah, fair. I mean, if you like that. This is stuck on Romeo, yeah. No, I'll go to the bathroom. I'll take a break. All right, BRB chat. Watch the ads.
Oh my god, the ad hasn't played. Well, that's fine. I forgot to play it. All right. Oh god, that chandelier is crazy looking. Oh my god. All right, so what's my plan? Okay, let me try the parry strap, but I don't know if it'll work. Ugh. Hi, nurse. Stamina dead. What the hell? <laughs> so dumb. Today I did a VOD, fix the VOD mod, and don't fire me. I will never fire you. You're stuck here. Oh my god, he fucking trapped me in his leg! I'm actually getting a little bit angry. Can I heavy attack into a weapon? Or yeah, I can try that, but that's only gonna work if he's prepping the fire move, which maybe he is, I don't know. Maybe he will. I fucking doubt it. Every time I have a good plan, he doesn't do it. But whatever, I mean, if that happens, I think it's still worth a try because if it does happen and he does the fire move, Hopefully I survive it, and then he- I just get his health down enough to not have to worry about it until he dies again. Well, not until. I won't have to worry about it, and I'll kill him. Like, I do think it's very likely he'll do it twice, though, which is kind of shitty, but if I have enough health, I'll be fine. You nearly guarantee- yeah, that's what you think, right? Yeah, that's what I thought as well. <laughs> I was thinking of getting the salamander dagger, but I just I think I'm I've gotten such good like I've I've almost beaten him so many times that I don't think I really need to switch my weapon. I don't know. Yeah 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 trying to bait millennia, yeah it's like that, yeah. No, dude, it's not a one-time thing, Jason. Like, I swear, I used to think that, and I tried so many different ways of dealing with it. Every time I'd get him to halfway, I would do a charge attack or a fatal, and then he just does it when he stands up. Like, he's a fucking troll. If it was that easy, I would do that. Unless I'm doing something weird and wrong, maybe. I don't know, but I, I thought that that's how it works, so I tried and it just... He doesn't do it. It's the best odds, yeah, it is, but it's still very low. Maybe I'm doing something else that minimizes the odds, I don't know. I honestly don't know, but that's what I thought as well, and he just fucking doesn't do it. And that's why I'm switching up my strats so much. Yeah, maybe I'm doing something to, like, cancel out. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. But I can't rely on it anymore.
Maybe proximity? That'd be interesting. So Jason, do you think it'd be if you're far or if you're close? Damn, Romeo. Oh, I hate that the fire damages me so much. I want to heal. What are the odds the amulet will give me a free one? very low because I want it. The issue with when I try and start to parry him... Should I go now? Close, I'm gonna do a charge attack into a fable. Wait, wait, now we wait. I got confused. Okay, when he stands up, I have to do a fable. Actually, I did this one time, but I just started the fable too early. Yep, same, same thing happened. Was spicy, but I can't attack now. Okay, I was in stamina dead. So over it. Do the charge attack early and then fable. I have more time than I think. I think you're right, yeah. I think I think I'm doing that too early. Pepe's thanks for the two month sub. <laughs> thanks, man. The dodges were smooth. The dodges were smooth. Dude, the strat to that? Have I broken his weapon? I have, yeah. I have in my casual runs like every time I fought him basically. But it's because I used a heavy weapon. Like, if you don't use a heavy weapon, it's like almost impossible to, I, in my opinion. Like, you need to hit him so many times. Um, yeah, no, the strat how to dodge that final move is literally just delay it way more than you think. That's the only way I know how to do it. And that's why it sometimes misses, or sometimes my dodge fails, because I don't actually have a timing. It's just, this feels a little late, sure, I guess. Man, I wish you didn't do it twice. The second time happened so early after the first one. The weapon is not a rule. I can use whatever weapon I want to. 
But I use a wrench on like basically all my playthroughs and I'm gonna use something different now. I'm pretty sure I tested it on Laxacia. Okay, don't quote me on exactly the numbers, but I'm pretty sure it was like 30 parries to break Laxacia's weapon with a heavy weapon, and then it was like 70 or 75 to break it with a light weapon. It was like something along those lines. Yeah, my weapon is leveled. I think it's maxed out for right now, but maybe it's not. Man, that first fire move was so clean, the parries and the dodges. Bye, slimy degen. Sorry, I read your name. Sorry that I said slimy. Sorry, I read it. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. I didn't mean to. I just looked over, man. You think I have time when I'm looking at chat while fighting a boss to think about nicknames? Different way weapons don't have different timings, just different amounts of parries required to break boss weapons. Ever stop <laughs> Do you ever stop sliming? That's no, I never. You never stop sliming. Right, Eugene. Right, slime Eugene. Man, I'm kind of pissed because that last fight, like, it wasn't exactly how I wanted to. I didn't even parry, and his stagger timing was like perfect. What well, boss will be the hardest? I think Nameless Puppet. I'm the worst. I'm actually good at Romeo, by the way. Casually, I'm really good at Romeo, and I'm horrible at Nameless Puppet casually. I'm horrible. It was the Golden Lie? I feel like that would probably take a while too, wouldn't it? We're about halfway through the game, after I beat Romeo. It's a nice halfway point, to be honest. Like, just gameplay-wise. If you ever play the game again, try parrying bosses with heavy weapons. They uh, stagger so much faster. Or not the stagger, the break. I'm a fucking amateur. Good time for that amulet to work. Okay. I'm gonna wait a long time to fable here. My fault. I I uh, I parried when I shouldn't have. I knew it the minute I parried there. I was like, nope. But yeah, why didn't that work? Anyone? Why didn't it work? It's just fucking RNG. Like it's literally just RNG. It makes no sense. Do I wake up charged heavy and then fable? Charge attack first. So you guys think? Okay, so I charge attack him down. And then as he's standing up, I charge attack, and then when he starts buffing, I fable. You guys think that's gonna work? I'll try it. I'll fucking try it, but it's actually- like, the AI is learning, bro. Pray to the Aztec gods and then fable. Yeah. Alright, let's see. The 
parry to the white bar. Why not get him to face two like that? What do you mean? Isn't that what we're doing, sir? Stagger before the phase transition. Sorry, I forgot. Wait, what? So you're said. Wait, what? Don't stagger and crit. Just keep it going. Well, how will his health go down? Then? Oh, you. Oh, is yours? Um. Yeah, you're right. I'm missing the one step of that plan, which is just poke him first and then charge attack as he starts to buff. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I can try. Yeah, I can try. I can try. He'll do it again. He'll, you think he'll do it again? Well, he does it twice anyway. I don't know. At this point, I just need to learn how to deal with it better. Which, I am I mean, I'm doing okay so far. Like, it's not hopeless. I just need to not choke. The weapon is leveled, yeah. Plus six, which is what I think it's max for Romeo, right? Yeah, twice it gets scary because of like my weapon health and my actual health and just proximity and not expecting it. Char try okay, let me try the charge into Fable for, for curiosity first, sure. So what do you want me to do? Can you repeat it again? So I let him down, I stagger, I repost. As he's standing up, I charge him in table. I'd be shocked if it worked, but maybe I'll try. No, I don't, I'm not doing another weapon. At this point I'm close. I don't need another weapon. I just, what I think is that his bar doesn't, doesn't uh, fill as he's standing up. I think it'll do damage, but I don't think it'll matter for the stagger meter. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know. Can you stop? Damn. Insane. Nice. Nice amulet, thank you. I started charging, I started gonna stop. Oh fuck, damn it. I was gonna poke him till he does it, that was my plan, and then I Oh you think poke wait, poke him till he does it? Wait, is that our new plan? Wait, what? We have so many plans going on. Is this boss the hardest? For some people it's the hardest. I don't think for for me on my casual it wasn't the hardest. Now we'll see if it's the hardest on RL1, I don't know. Thank you, Handy. Good night. You wanted to try charge into Fable, or yeah, I did. <sighs> we need to be unified on a plan. I just wish phase one would go faster. The Fable is too slow. No, but I think they're on- But we just don't know if that- if- if the Fable will 
deal stagger damage while he's standing up. I think odds are very low that it will. Maybe. I mean, it's worth a try, I guess. Can't do it again for the second time around? Yeah, I guess not. I mean, I could just probably parry him until he fire moves, but that fight will take forever. But that's kind of how I did it on my first playthrough, to be honest. I'm gonna try the poke strat because I'm confused what the other strat is right now. We'll need to refresh it after, after I die again. <laughs> So Jason, you think if I did your strat, he's not gonna fire again? Why? So good at the bot, so good she's dying on the bot. Well, yeah, this is a SL1 run, so I don't know. I don't know if you know how level one runs work. I don't know if you know, but then you're level one. By the way, okay. I'm not doing pure against them. In theory, it's better. The odds are the fight will be faster. So, what you think I should do, Jason, is. Wait, can you just say it again? Sorry, I'm getting confused with all our plans. <laughs> so many plans, none of them work. <laughs> It is interesting theory crafting stuff like this. How's it going? It's okay. Making some progress for sure. I almost beat him a few times and got unfortunate. Either luck or just choking. Um, I'm not counting leveling Pjorgans as fair for this run just because like with weapon you're not leveling yourself. With Pjorgan you are leveling yourself and your abilities kind of, so the rule is no Pjorgan. Strategize things, yeah, true. Uh oh. Nice. I don't understand why that works like that, but whatever. using grinders now. I guess as I was talking about holding a baby and someone said babies look like that and I think about that a lot. It's kind of accurate. Okay, so the plan I'm going to do is I'm going to parry him at halfway. I'm going to poke until he starts doing the fire move and then I'm going to charge attack. And then I'm going to pray. Okay? I think that's the plan. I actually don't know. I'm kind of scared of that plan, but I will try it. That carpet always bugs out. Nice, is it you? He's so weird, like what are you doing?
what letter do you guys think is halfway? It's hard for me to judge it. See, that's the praying part. You hope he just doesn't do that. I mean, I could probably parry, but it just comes out of nowhere, dude. Ugh. Between O and G. Okay. Manus took you the longest. I So Manus, I hated on my casual run, but I was doing Deathless, and I learned a strat for him that, like... It's really, really long. It's really, really slow. It's really, really patient, but it's it's pretty consistent. Hi, Black Flame. Fuck that strat. I don't like this strat. Uh, I don't want to do no hit, no. I consider doing no hit and speedrunning, but I just don't like the consumable spam strats. I just think it's not that fun. And no hit, like, with just pairing sounds insane. Like Bye, Shady. Why he look like a Skylander, dude? That's sick. Skylanders deserve better. I jump. I think Pjorgen makes things a lot easier. Like, Pjorgen gives you so many upgrades that are so good and useful. Amiibo better than Skylander? I don't know, man. I was a huge Skylander enjoyer. Does the two fucking red arm attacks twice in a row? Let's go! Why didn't you use camera lock, Cool Breeze? Still no healing is rough, yeah, I bet. Oh, I'm pissed. I don't know if I should give up for tonight. Like, I'm so close, but also, like, I have um, to go cook. Yeah, I'm allowed to parry. It's just, like, it's not really worth parrying with this weapon. I mean, like, maybe, but you get more damage on dodging, at least in phase one. No, I've been streaming for five and a half hours. Oh, you just didn't like the camera? I mean, fair, I guess. Yeah, I can parry. It's just like sometimes the regiments just come out of nowhere, dude. It's a bit easier if I'm doing like an all parry strat. That's what my casual playthrough was. And then you're like used to just parrying everything that comes at you. But when you're dodging most of it and then only parrying some of it, it's a bit harder to like switch up. to this phase sometimes, but I actually feel like I could do this in my sleep at this point. Okay, I mean, obviously I'm gonna get hit there when I say that. I feel like when I get hit, it's just laziness or just some bullshit. Like, I feel like I can actually reach out and talk to chat while I do this.
Dude, it's so dark on the side of the room. Full strength, so you love the pair, get that stand. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I played with a heavy uh, blade on Liza P on my first playthrough, and it was awesome. So many broken weapons. What's up, Ace? Happy 11 months. Don't fire me, it's okay, David. I will not fire you. Thanks guys for 50 subs today, by the way. I didn't even notice 50. A lot of individual subs too, which is very generous. Thank you guys. Nice, V. Javier. Congrats. Hi, Bifrost. Dude, what's up? Welcome back to stream, man. Hope you've been well. Thanks, dude. The mod's afraid of being fired. I think my mod is definitely the full time job. Well, no hit phase one. Nice. Dan Likely, thank you for the two month organics up. Thanks, man. Okay, so the strat is parry at halfway and then poke, 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 and then just pray. Honestly, that strat requires too much thinking. Uh, what was the other strat? a few days ago. Nice. Nearly. Congrats. Okay, so the other strat was uh, just charge attack him there and as he's... Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. That seems a bit safer. And if it works, I'd rather do that. Charge attack him at halfway when the white bar happens. As he stands up, I'm gonna charge attack again and then FA. Dude, he's so fucking cool. What a cool frame. Okay. And if that doesn't work, then damn. Honestly, if that doesn't work, then it just is so truly RNG. My ear is itchy. I wonder how long these four heals are gonna last. Like, one second, probably. I did get him low, my weapon actually went red, which is a little scary. Okay, we're gonna go... I did it wrong. He's gonna fucking do it again. I'm scared. <laughs> have stamina to charge attack again.
I, are you telling me? Are you, okay, okay, let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. So I no hit Romeo. Okay, let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. Let's just get this straight. So I no hit Romeo, including two fire attacks. I no hit. I, like, I no hit. And then that... I'm sleep. I'm sleep. I'm actually fucking pissed. Now what? What's the next plan? <laughs> uh, maybe some slash damage. <laughs> okay. Roll the RNG. Literally roll the RNG. Let's just hope it works out this time. I, or I earned that one. I earned that one. I don't have stamina amulet. Where do I get that from? So maybe the plan is after the fire moves, just fucking run away or something. I don't know. Try the light attack, no charge heavy when he's flashing. What does that mean when he's flashing? Wait, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean, concept. Man, I really- that sucks, dude. Morrison, hello! Plist. Thank you for the nine month organic. Thanks, man. Man, I really got away unscathed. On the fire move twice? That felt sick. I hope West makes a short. I, I don't think West is here. Can someone tell him to make a short? Of that. When he's Grog? Wait, what? When he's Grog? Oh, you mean the other plan? The other plan? So when he's light attack? Just try the light attack and... Okay, so yeah, you're telling me to do the other plan, to, to parry him at halfway. And then, and then do the charge attack when he does the thing. Hi, Banana Bob. Finishing chapter one, the game is getting started. Kind of wild, weird as Mario gonna play. Hell yeah, dude, enjoy it. Yeah, it's weird. That Nintendo used to be weird. I will say chapter two is my least favorite chapter, so I hope, if you like it, that's great. I mean, I don't think it's everyone's least favorite chapter, but um, if you feel like two is sluggish, just know it gets way, way better. Three is my favorite chapter. I can't believe how good I did that. I'm not Persian. Yeah, cat, you agree? Okay, that's a, that's a good take. I'll comment door like this or Bloodborne. This by a million years. I'm gonna have to fix up my weapon here before we transition. You got annoyed? Yeah, that was me last night. But chapter three makes it all worth it. I'm obsessed with chapter three. Though I have a question about chapter two, but I won't ask right now. I'm gonna ask in the Discord, actually. Cause I'm genuinely curious about it. Parking, cat, agree on something. I think I'm in a fucked up timeline, yeah. <laughs> I agree. I think we might see three fire moves, to be honest.
wonder if I should, instead of doing the parry strat, I wonder if I should just ease up right now and let the stagger go down and build up that halfway. Well, good plan. How similar Stasny Door to other Paper Mario games? Um, yeah, it changes. One of them has is not turn-based fighting. Um, one of them is turn-based fighting, but a little bit different, like a lot different actually. But I think you should give it a chance anyway. <laughs> um, but the biggest part that's different is like, is like the only thing that's paper about Thousand Year Door is thing everything is made of that you know but the what's paper about the other games is like like the newer like not the not the uh ds games that one are all kind of bad and all kind of the same reskin but um the proper console ones are like the whole world is made of paper and then you have like office supplies as enemies you know what i mean it's like weird which i don't like Fabling on second fire attack is the best way to go. Well, I think that it's not gonna stagger him, but I can try. Yes, Paper Mario. Honestly, I still enjoyed it, but it might just be a Nintendo fan bias. Yoga Raisin, thank you. Thank you for your two month organic sale. Do you guys think if I had the stamina amulet, I could charge attack him out of the out of the fucking fire move? Because that would be a game changer if I could do that. Unfortunate phase one. It's gonna be one of those things where it'll only stagger with the pure organ upgrade. Yeah, maybe at this point. Uh, I've played League in the past. No throwables, no. This moment that I'd be Romeo, I constantly write next to him. Parry, didn't use fire. Kept doing the normal. Uh, did you have a lot of damage? Dodge the whole fire move. Uh, I don't think I can, to be honest. I don't really know how to dodge the first half. Well, dodging will bring my stamina to zero as well, right? How long have I been on Romeo? Today's stream plus like two more hours. It's fine, I'm not mad about it. I'm just like, I just need the stars to align. First weapon, this first phase is like the little brother, like the annoying little brother you have to just get through. I'm gonna be so good at this fucking game after this challenge is. Which is kind of sick actually. I love this game. I'd love to be actually good at this game. Cat, that message is so good, but it's stolen. Unless you thought of it first and the person I saw it from stole it from you, but I don't think that's the case. You still had stamina left from dodging. Mm. That's interesting. It's Brad's message, yeah, 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 I knew that. I love that message, it's so funny. Is there a reason I'm not going on deflect? Uh, it just, there's no point. I get more DPS than if I just do this. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I knew immediately. I just hoped for good RNG there. On the bright side, it doesn't really matter how many vials I have for uh, phase two. There's, I'm decent at the fight, one move one shots me. And everything else is just unfortunate RNG. 
Get RNG, get RNG, please get RNG. Nope. I, sh I should have been patient. I should have been patient. Can't get stam until Malum District. Interesting. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much more I can do this tonight. Like, I can do it, but I also, like, have things I need to do tonight. <laughs> oh, God. Am I under- I'm slightly heavy. Yeah. I feel like- you know what, actually? I thought I was gonna say it might, the defense is worth it, but I actually don't think the defense is worth it. Because he one-shots me anyway. Right? Parry and take stamina. Yeah. So if I take this off, am I gonna be Omega Light? Let's try that. Let's try Omega Light. If I die anyway, let's see. So my stamina regen's faster now, I think. Is that right? Or what changes now? Oh, change my arm too. I don't I honestly don't think I need any defense. Let's see if all of Romeo's moves in phase two one shot me, then I'll add some defense. But I don't uh I don't know that they will, maybe. It's much faster. Okay, maybe I can attack after the fire move then. I'm light right now, right? I'm 56. Yeah, I do feel a lot later. I feel like whenever you have a problem in Souls games, the solution is always just light roll. Actually, that's not true at all. That's not even close to true. But it helps a lot. I wonder if it'll fuck up my dodge timing now. Because it is a lot faster. I did notice, though, I haven't been under uh, zero stamina yet. I haven't had to borrow any stamina. Hmm, maybe this is the strat, actually. Okay, whatever. I spoke too soon, of course. I go so far, oh my god. Fuck this move. I don't remember our own your face plan. I really hope it doesn't launch on me. I, I know that Romeo would be really hard. That was my chair. <laughs>
That was a that was lucky bad AI RNG. Honestly, I don't like the strat. The strat is way too touchy and like honestly, I kind of thought he was past halfway there and uh and I didn't look like he was getting ready for fire move. Maybe he wasn't past halfway though, I don't know. I don't really like that strat that much. I think I just have to get over it and work with two fire moves. Bye, Seb. Thank you, man. Thanks. No, not Ken, David. No. Just kidding. We're fine. Bye, dude. Uh, normal arm, it doesn't matter. I'm under 60% uh, now. I don't think it matters anymore, right? If I'm under 60, it's all the same. I think I'm gonna go for the strat of, uh, of what we did before. Like, at halfway, I'll just uh, stagger him. I'll repost him. And then as he's standing up, I'll do the, the charge and the fable art just to do damage on him. And he'll probably do two fire moves, maybe three. Under 30? You get buffed if you're under 30? How is that even possible? What is it called? Like, just super light? I missed the first charge that we hit. Oh, I did? Is that why that didn't work? Did you miss much, Masterlings? We're making a lot of progress, but... I didn't beat him, obviously. <laughs> Is real? Is it called real light load? Is it called like what does it say in the game? Oh, it says light. This is just neutral. Investing capacity, true. Yeah. Based. Unfortunate. Unforch I honestly, that move is so fucking weird to me. Sometimes it works the way you want, sometimes it doesn't. There, it'll work the way I want. I don't know why. It seems like usually I'm standing in front of him and it still does that, so I honestly don't know. No, no, I didn't. I meant to do this. No. Unforge. Yeah, yeah, I can't invest in capacity. I think we're just talking about in general. All right, no hit face two time. Medium, lower is light stand much better. Uh, well. please.
Yeah, I can't charge. We gotta pray for that bad AI. That's the only way I'm gonna survive that move. I'll do it three times. He's so scary when he's mad. Again? No. I wasn't anticipating it four times. Was that four? Oh, uh, was that four? Four times. That was three? Three is still too much. Three is actually still too much, dude. <sighs> I know, I know the less damage I do, he'll do it more. Why not run or dodge? He, if I run, he'll still do it. And dodging, I don't, I can't dodge the first half. It's too scary. Maybe I can try, maybe I can try. Oh my God, stop. I don't have time for this right now. <laughs> <sighs> wow. That sucks, dude. That actually sucks. I really didn't think he'd do it again. I thought I had it. I honestly thought I had that. Needed more greed, maybe. It's hard to know when more greed is necessary. <sighs> Stagger him to mi mid crit. Wait, what? Stagger him to the middle, crit, wake up, heavy attack, don't use Fable until second time. Maybe, but I... You know what I think is gonna happen with Fable? I think I'm gonna do it. He's not gonna get broken, and then I'm just gonna be stuck with no stamina for the combo. I think that's what happens. The fable doesn't interrupt it, and it's actually fucking annoying. I think the plan of just uh, fabling him... Like, maybe I can leave the fable to the next time that I charge attack him, because, like, I just want to do the more damage. I just need damage at this point. I just need him to not do the fucking move three times. I was honestly trying to not greed. The, uh, the counter fable is scary. I don't think I can trust the counter fable because I tried it one time and the LB didn't go through and it only did the Y and I just, I can't be having that in the important moment.
timer is for the whole run. Try the move that dodge it diagonally to his right or his left. If you're able to the stagger you missed in P2, it would have gone differently. Well, I mean, I ended up getting it another time, but yeah, I don't know. And he gets so fucking scary near the end. Like, I swear he gets more aggro or something. Like, even more than just that halfway. No, it's honestly been smooth sailing up to this point. All bo like, Brotherhood took me, like, a couple tries more than maybe I wanted, but, like, nothing... I don't even know how long it took, but, like, we didn't even pay attention. And Archbishop took me four tries. Punch him with the normal arm, it does stagger. Dude, the leg slam is crazy. I'm terrified of that move. And I'm very lucky that that worked out for me on that last attempt, like the way that it did. Honestly, I can't be doing phase one anymore. My brain is hurting. I might have to leave this for tomorrow. I'll keep going a little bit, but I actually like, I'm losing my mind with phase one. <sighs> what a bummer. Brotherhood one is before this. Hi, Ro. Yo, Ren. Thank you, man. I'd be, like, maybe into changing my weapons, but I just- I'm, I'm kind of committed to this right now. I just wish I had more damage. Oh, then I can get stamped? Where is it? I will do less damage because, uh, my Fable Art here. I have the Fable Art. It's only 15%, but still. I don't have any other weapons in mind. I don't know. I'm, I don't plan on changing, really. Yeah, it is low damage. I don't know. I, my whole plan is like, I'm not gonna change unless I need to, and I don't think I really need to yet. I think the next big wall will be Swamp Monster. He is, like, I'm good at that fight, but man, it's such an endurance fight. You know, Park, you shall finish it with this build. So, Graphic, what's your uh, new Cards and Castles deck? What factions are you using? Why has that been hitting me recently? It wasn't before. Was I dodging in before? Oh yeah, Viking Undead, that's right. Wait. No, I thought you changed your deck from that. That's not what you're using today. Just tweaked it, okay, cool. Yeah, Banna, you should. But it's more of like a chill game. If you already have a chill game you play on your downtime, then you don't really need to. Skr Wallino, thank you for the prime sub, dude. What a fucking bitch, this damn phase one. Panther no hit phase two. Finishing P3, Pantheon 3 or Persona 3? I like his goofy shoes though. Persona, nice. Have fun. It's a great game. Why is this taking so much longer than usual? Got stuck at silver one to this deck, but she did nice, 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 nice. That kinda happened with me as well. My deck was so good until I messed with it. I regret messing with it. It's a 
so greedy. Maybe I should just be greedier. Some damage up, dude. Keeps letting me through that. They okay, dodge to the left, that seems relatively consistent. Heal and then I want my amulet to do my heal free. I'm terrified of that move. I don't understand what the fuck he's doing. Already? Scared. Fuck. I'm Forge. Again? Heal with it. No. Fuck this fucking fight, dude. I'm getting good at that. Nice. I really want to heal. Fable art there might have been nice.
scared. I don't know what that move is. Agreed. Please work with me, Romeo. Oh my god, we did it! Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. And to be honest, I, I at this point, bro, at this point, I fucking perfected that damn fire move. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he did it so many times. <laughs> Oh my god, man. I cannot believe that, man. I actually can't believe that fight. I'm like, I'm like a little bit like, I'm a little bit like blown away at that fight, dude. I cannot believe that. That was five fire moves? Oh my god, man. Five fire moves is disgusting. But yeah, I mean, at this point, I learned it. Like, I didn't really... Honestly... As long as he didn't do some weird bullshit or that red kick in the middle of nowhere, I kind of knew I had that because, I, like, I fought him for so long, man. Ugh. Can't wait for Green Swamp Monster, yeah. Yeah, so this fight took me about eight hours, yeah. But we did it. I'm so happy, dude. I could actually cry. I'm so happy. I fucking love that fight. So here's the difference between a game I like and a game I don't really like on a SL1 run. <laughs> <sighs> okay let me say this again let me just give you guys a tip if you ever want to dodge that fire run like that it's literally it's literally i it's literally when you think you have to dodge just don't and dodge a little later that's how you do it on the final move there you are now the real king yeah i'm now the king of puppets true no i hated a bloodborne bl4 i bloodborne bl4 made me hate that game and I was worried it would do that for this game as well. But I, so far, I like it. Halfway done. Oh, my God. Jason, thank you for five subs. Big, thank you for 100 bits. And Mr. Wood, thank you for the prime sub. Ah! I'm so happy. Oh, my God. We should watch that back before I end stream. We should watch that back. That was crazy. I'm actually... Damn. I'm not adding P-Organs, no. No P-Organ. No arm. No consumable by the way this shit did not happen one fucking time in that fight i think maybe it did i don't think it did though oh man just the weapon oh yeah dude when i did my deathless run it was just wrench and i got a bunch of comments saying oh like you use the the meta speed run weapon like the, whatever like that's not that cool okay guys i'm literally using this dinky ass needle now do you think i'm is this valid finally? <laughs> oh my god, so fucking dumb. Man, Swamp Monster, like guys, I'm actually good at this fight and this took me eight hours. Swamp Monster is gonna be brutal. Swamp Monster is gonna be so brutal, man. Also, it's level 10, not level one. They will never be satisfied. As long as I am a woman, they will not care. Honestly, the rapier's not bad. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, we're gonna watch that final run. Let's see how long it was. I could cry. I could cry. Stop it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you, Millennia. Oh my god. I can't breathe. Please. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Millennia. Oh my god, dude. More than just that halfway. <sighs> Detail, thank you for the prime sub. I actually can't, bro. I actually can't. This is insane. Oh 
Holy crap, dude. My my mouse is like shaking. I'm still like Necro, thank you for five subs, Necro. Thank you. Thank you, man. Ah. Oh, holy crap. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, dude, Swamp Monster's just fucking jank. At least this fight's good. Swamp Monster's got some bullshit, man. I'm not excited. <sighs> Spearcast. Thank you for the organic sub, dude. All right, let's watch. Let's watch my final no, run here. Awesome. And then I will play the Wall Meow. Version 1 and version 2. Okay, which one was the final? I want to see. I want to see my clutches. I don't even care, bro. I don't even care. I'm going to watch back those damn clutches because there were a lot of them. Oh my god, I can't breathe. I actually can't breathe. Okay, he, Swamp is fun, but he's got some bullshit. You gotta admit he's got some bullshit, dude. Esoteric, thank you for the prime sub. You deserve it. That was so much work. Thank you, dude. Let's watch all eight attempts, hours to study true. All right, let's skip this boring ass phase one bullshit. To buy the win, I'm pretty sure I went into phase two with no heals or one heal. I was 10 times more nervous on your Romeo than mine. Yeah, yeah, but clench, eh? All right, let's see. Let's see if, also how long did this fight take? So we started at, we started at, Dude, I'm actually so happy. I actually mastered that fight. This is what I like about not using cheesy builds. Dude, you actually master it. Like, I feel like I mastered that fight. Okay, so that was... Uh, we started at 1229, okay? Discretion, thank you for your 37 months! Thank you, Discretion. One of my longest subs, dude. Thank you. Low vials, better luck. You know what, dude? I actually didn't want to say it to Jinx it, but I always play better with less vials. I was also like super patient. Okay, actually that wasn't it. I was also super patient. 12.32. Tensor, thank you for your brand new organic sub. Thank you. That fight was longer than my Factorio playthrough. Uh -huh. Okay, so we started at 32. Unless this one loses as well, I don't know. Hardest BO4 fight was cost, but it's, it's, I don't know. The thing with cost is like, I was trying to do the, the AI break cheese and all 24 hours was learning the AI break cheese. So like, honestly, I might've just been easier to fucking learn the damn fight at that point, <laughs> but I was in too deep. I had to commit. Honestly, at that point I was like, the cheese is harder than the actual fight. I'm just going to take this one and go. <laughs> okay. So the fun gets to halfway, let's see. Romeo is really satisfying, I love Romeo. This is my favorite boss in the game. I don't think this is the winning one. I don't think that happened on the winning one. Cause is fun, I don't like cause. But yeah, I have just a negative connotation with Bloodborne at this point. Oh, the parry strat, was that on the winning run? I don't think it was when I tried to parry. Yeah, that's dagger hurt. I think this is not the winning run. Let's see. Oh, if dude, not getting hit to that is so satisfying. Like it feels so, it feels like I'm just floating through the damn fight. This is it, you think? Horizon, thank you for the 1000 bits, Horizon. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you on Victor being fun to parry. No, I totally agree. He hits hard. I think in order for that to not hit me, you just have to perma be moving to the left. Otherwise, he'll hit you. Already? Yeah, this is the winning one. I didn't want a fable art. I, d I don't believe in the fable art. 
And ugh, the, it hurts never getting it, never getting the stagger after, man. I'm gonna force Aggie to watch all fucking probably 15 minutes of this fight after. Something about hitting a boss with low damage and just having a whole endurance fight is just talk. Unfortunate. It just feels good, man. Does guard negation affect how much stamina gets consumed by the parry? Does guard negation? What do you mean by that? Make him watch all the attempts. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Counting out orphan, yeah. Again? That's three. Three is crazy. But yeah, I, again, at this point, it doesn't matter. At this point, it didn't fuck you. But this was the best move to get at that point, bro. <laughs> As long as it wasn't the red kick in my face, I was okay. That probably should have killed me. <laughs> Dude, honestly, my patience, I... I know that's me, and I know that was like five seconds ago, but like, damn. No. How long has it been? Like nine minutes at this point. Nine minutes is crazy. That fight feels like it goes by so much faster. Fight, dude. Yeah, turns turns out the strat literally ended up being get good, learn it. So that was the strat, learn it. This is like when people ask me. Like tips on Sekiro. The answer is always just fucking learn it. Learn how to parry nicely. Ah! At least I'm getting good at that. Ew, I'm. Ew. I'm, my cheeky comments are so dumb. <laughs> oh, yes. I had to stop that. I really want to heal. I also didn't have to heal my weapon at all, that's nice. Fable art there might have been nice. No greed, no greed, no greed. It's nice knowing this is the winning attempt, I'm not scared. I'm scared. It was four, not five, yeah. Four is still a lot. I don't know what that move is. Oh my god, we did it! And there it is! And there it is! That was nice. It was nice. Yeah, right, graphic? <laughs> yeah, true. Um, damn, dude. Huh? Oh boy. Lucky, thank you for the five month resub! Most people shop, put on a fire move, and never get good at it. It feels good. It feels good, man. It feels good learning it. It really does. Oh, God. I can go cook in peace now. In peace and happiness. I'm so happy. Oh, God. I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel it deep when you say no greed. Thank you, everyone who stayed up. How long? About eight hours. Maybe seven. Maybe seven and a half. I don't know. But between seven and eight. You made it look easy. Hell yeah. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just bad. Thank you, Evan, for staying up. David, thank you for uh, staying after you were done your homework. Staying I appreciate up. that. Um, and the vibes are the vibes, Chad. Do we have any questions, comments, or concerns? Going to bed in a great mood? I sure am. So I will say, Aggie and I really have to practice our Sekiro for Ludwig's event. So we might do that tomorrow. If we do do that tomorrow, then I'll play uh, Lies of P the next day on Tuesday. But we might, like, he's kind of into the crab right now so maybe we'll do um maybe we'll do Sekiro the next day I don't know so I don't know okay that's that's what I'm that's all we'll say I don't know I'll do it at some point I don't know 
But if you see me not doing it tomorrow, I haven't given up. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it the next day. We're doing 2P1C, yeah. Very exciting. Had to resub for that one. Thank you, Taz, man. Yeah, we got a Crab Souls plush and he's got a little heart. Okay. One hour behind. I mean, it's still kind of late. Okay, I'm gonna go cook. I will see you guys later. Let's raid Aggie and let's do like a Romeo dead. Let's do this as the raid message. Hey, I just got gifted. What you did was amazing. I also have a streamer friend that's doing no level GG. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who's your streamer friend? Is it poetry? Do something like this for the raid message. You don't have to if you don't want, but just do something fun. I don't know. Whatevs. Whatevs. If you want to do my regular, it's this. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. I'm really happy. Everyone who stayed up to watch that, you guys are awesome. And everyone who- Oh shit, I didn't play the wall mask. Okay, I'm gonna play the best one while we leave. Anyone hear that? Does anyone this see the hundred, that? This is the hundred sub one. There seems to be a cat on the wall. Meow. Thank you guys for all the subs. I clapped meow. when you won. Thanks. Man. The wall. Meow. Seems to be a cat on meow. The wall. Meow. The wall. Meow. The wall. Edwin, meow. thank you for the there tier three, Edwin. Happy 16 the months, wall. dude. Meow. Thank you. The wall. Meow. The wall. Meow. There seems to Hearing be a cat on meow. Videos. Oh yeah. The wall. Meow. The wall. Meow. Alright, so how to egg you, everyone? Seems to be a cat on meow. The wolf. Bye, YouTube viewers who are watching on YouTube. See you guys. Yeah.